almost 80 this week. Yeah. So, oh, cha. so the weird thing is, yeah. like, you know, I think it, before we released episode 14, mm. there was, it was like square 800 or 803 or 804. Yeah. Episode 14 came out, which I'm really proud of. I think it's one of our, if not our best. Where's the fucking milk, yo? <laughs> Where's the fuck? <laughs> um, that comes yeah. out and it gets about 30, between 30 and 40 listens, which is yeah. pretty standard. So yeah. share amongst your friends. Yeah, absolutely. We're, but we're, the other ones went up as well. No, I know. So it, people have gone back and, and listened to other episodes. I know. Luckily, they're not going too far back. No, 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 and no. Listening if, to if, the... if this is the first episode you're listening to, please ignore the first Seven. <laughs> <laughs> Remember it's when- really episode eight where we start finding our groove. <laughs> yeah. So like in the earliest episodes, we were like, oh, well, if you come back and listen, thank you for it. Don't no, do that. No, no, don't, no, 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 no. It's not that. worth it. If, if you come back and listen, please. I'm so sorry you're gone because. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. Please don't unsubscribe. Yeah. So I've got it up right now. So mm. as of this recording, TCTP is up yes. to. 878 downloads all time. So That's incredible considering we're available on Podbean, Spotify, Apple Podcast, and YouTube. Big, Big summer, summer blowout. blowout. If you want to get down on these hairy balls, why don't you jump right in? It's a crotch party right up in here. Why don't you lick on this big joint? <laughs> Step Brothers, 2008. Oh. <laughs> I was going to say, wait, is this Shack South Park? Or? No, no, it's John yeah. C. Riley in Step Brothers, man. Now, back on the trail, I heard that yeah. they were going to do a sequel to that. I, I would love that, but I really don't want it. Yeah. Because Step Brothers by itself is just such a good film. Yeah. so it, It's one of those yeah. sort of out of nowhere timeless classics isn't it and they've it done really is. they've done yeah. a few of those they have, have you seen that recent sherlock holmes holmes and watson movie? no i haven't because uh, i haven't heard good things i've heard and... nothing but horrendous yeah. things so yeah so that I one don't... i'm not not as keen for yeah. but i think that was supposed to be like oh the spiritual sequel kind of to Step Brothers, and it's just like nah, yeah, nah, no, nah. no no but looking at the trailer as well there was like there's really bad jokes like oh it's called a self photograph oh, like uh, yeah they're nah. too old yeah to be saying shit like that exactly like, they're doing like the duck face it's like oh fuck I know, off like, i know i know it, it, so it just bad. it seems so out of place and those two guys i don't know if they're past that time of being I a good that. buddy team up thing i don't know i mean they could probably do a good buddy team up but yeah just that but setting that, I, I, yeah. just, I don't know i no. haven't seen it but i'm just gonna say that yeah that's, a, a, pass. that's a pass <laughs> that's a big pass yeah no but ricky bobby i'll take that Tell yeah. Him like I <laughs> yeah love that yeah. welcome everyone to mm. episode 15 two's company yes. three's a podcast my name is dylan along with my co-host manano p exactly Exactly. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's always something new. Man, so Comic-Con happened last week. Yes, it did. Which everybody could have heard about in our previous episode. Yes. Go back to episode f- no, 14. 14. Yep. Available on Podbean, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and YouTube. YouTube. Big, Big Summer, summer blowout. blowout. And also that other thing that you said on the Facebook yeah. page. What was it called? Uh, yeah, exactly. Podbean, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, blah, 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 and YouTube. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't know. So how I discovered mm. whatever it was called, the, the other source yeah. that our podcast is on somehow, mm. I literally just Googled Who's Company 3's a podcast to see what shows up, Yeah, as you do. Of course you did. Massive, you Googled yourself, basically. Yep. Yep. Basically, yeah. There you go. And that, I was Check scrolling out the stickers down. coming soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was scrolling down. I was like, yeah. what, what the hell is this? And I clicked on it. It was mm. us. I was like, oh, wait a minute. Just on a completely different platform. Yeah. There you go. Every episode was there. Yeah. All of our pictures, you the know. Descriptions, so, everything. Yep. God damn. So I went on and there's like a little thing saying, you know, claim this podcast. It's like, just click, 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 claim, 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 claim. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well so done. I got it all back. I would yeah. assume that that's been sent to them. From the, Podbean. From Podbean. Yeah, which Podbean, is Podbean pretty much disperses our podcast everything. to everything. And, and I've everywhere. noticed you've taken the shortcut and used them for YouTube as well yep. recently. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Cuz I saw the picture and went, "Oh, that's not cool." <laughs> yeah, I know. See, I can change I can change the thumbnail, but I yeah. can't change the actual picture within the video yeah. because it's a Podbean thing, which is like the the sound bars. Yeah. 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 Which itself is pretty pretty ugly, but Yeah, it's gross. I think the stats come across when you do it that way. See, okay. before yeah. when I was exporting those videos myself and yeah. putting out Photoshop images and whatever yeah. else, that data 
data, however you want to say yeah. it. It's completely separate to Podbean. Oh, okay. So, so we have more listeners. Or ah, not listens. more numbers. More numbers. Yeah. But, I mean, there's not many. <laughs> so, that, so that means that there's more value in a share at the moment. If you share a YouTube clip or a, a Spotify <laughs> clip or a, something like that that, 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 that adds value. That adds to the total. Yeah. yeah. So, so share yeah. amongst your friends. Let's get we us want, to a thousand. We want to get to the thousand. We've got a very Four special... Figures? Four figures? Four Are figures? Are we insane? Oh, that's crazy. That's almost a big summer that, blowout. That, that, that's upwards of five figures. <laughs> five figures? No, no. Gosh. <laughs> I'm going off on a tangent, Dylan. You're going to have to cut me oh, off. Oh, down the I'm rabbit hole. I'm have seen your code. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh. But we want to get to the thousand. We've got a very... Special announcement. Once we hit the thousand, no, that's right. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to spoil anything right now. I mean, I know you did say something about thirty seconds ago, but no, I won't no, say it no. Again. But I mean, yeah, just click the back button and you'll hear what I said. But no, it, it's something that we're very excited about. We're just waiting for something to turn up at our homes. Quality assurance, and then yes, and then yeah. once we approve, we will be back on the YouTube and yeah, an announcement coming soon. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But only if it gets to a thousand. No, that's right. If so, it doesn't get to a thousand, yeah, you get that. nothing mm-hmm. except more episodes, which are free yeah, <laughs> yeah, on Podbean, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and YouTube. But at Sorry. the moment, obviously, every episode is free. So, yes, you know, of course, exactly. What? <laughs> whether you heard it before or not, current download numbers eight hundred and seventy-eight. Whether you heard it before, if yeah. they're listening to this stage of the podcast, they clearly heard the first part of the podcast. Whether they remembered it from before is kind of what I yeah is what I, is exactly what I meant yeah, yeah but um, still either way we're climbing we're, we're getting climbing there. We're, we're getting there, there. Yeah. we're getting there I mean since mm-hmm. April it's now end of July so yeah, yeah. fucking and not like bad. like we not said bad. The first, Good size. The, the first seven episodes is basically nothing. Like, so, nothing. <laughs> yeah, but so, episode one yeah. still has the most downloads Wait, out of all of them. Yeah, because people jump on the podcast. They go, that was hilarious. I'm going to listen to the first one, go back to the first one and go, holy shit, that was a piece of shit. Unsubscribe. Exactly. That's right. <laughs> oh, man. Wait, yeah. what are we talking about on this podcast? I said Ourselves Comic-Con just or... happened. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. So, I said Move Comic-Con forward. just happened, which mm. means everything's out in the open. All the news has happened. Yes. And now there's pretty much, like, nothing left over. So, yeah. We may have a short episode. We may somehow fill it out. <laughs> Mate, we haven't gotten to our spilt milk segment. Come on. <laughs> We're not Welcome kidding. Welcome to TCTP to spilled the spilt milk, milk mm-hmm. section. Yes. Um, yeah, so what do you got, Dilway? But a few things that I did have written down. Mm. Um, now, obviously, now, I have mentioned this quite a few times over the past few episodes, but I'll I bring swear. it up. Let me guess. Doom. <laughs> yeah. It is. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. I thought well, for a I second there you were going to do something original. Nope. Okay, Doom, uh, hit us. Uh, all right, so Quake, QuakeCon just happened yes. over the last few days. It's over now. Yes, um, indeed. So nothing really massive regarding like the the next Doom game, essentially, mm-hmm, Doom mm-hmm. Eternal. There's a, a bit of yep. news about the multiplayer, uh, which they've. Which I don't think anybody really cares about. Okay. You know, okay. That's what they mainly yep. harped on about. But the interesting thing is that they've gone ahead and re-released the very first and second Doom games from the 1993 and 1994, Back on really? modern consoles, including mobile and okay. Nintendo Switch. Yep. Yeah. All right. And they also released the 2005 Doom 3 as well, which is one of my personal favorites and yeah. secretly a lot of other people's as well, which is a horror game, which, you know, ideas that we have for future content you'll be playing. Don't oh, worry. Oh, good. Don't I can't worry. wait for that. Yeah. Oh, no. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it, it is... If you've never played it before, it is quite scary. I haven't, and I'm very scared. I am very scared. That's why I'm looking forward to it. I know. Um, That's going to be great. But yeah, it's been re-released for like modern consoles, which is cool because, I mean, if you're an Xbox owner like myself, you've been able to play these games the whole time because of backwards compatibility. Of course. If you own a PlayStation 4, though, it doesn't have backwards compatibility. Ah, okay. So people are like, yeah, I can finally play it, even though you can pretty much download it on anything you know yeah but yeah. people like the idea of a, it coming back no, and that's it's fair it's made a bit of a slog around the internet which is so good. what about the mobile versions i mean <laughs> yeah i'm glad you brought that up yeah. because <clears throat> they suck yeah <laughs> i had a feeling that's yeah. why i was like mobile doom uh, i don't See, know the, the, it wa- blah, 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 blah. so yeah. in software the creators mm-hmm. of doom all of them that's yeah. just the, the game studio yeah they brought out doom one for mobile years ago on previous ios and android devices okay and it worked really fucking well yeah it hasn't been updated in like three or four years it feels like possibly longer so nobody's oh, really? been able to play it uh, okay. as soon as they announce it i've gone oh fuck i hope i don't have to buy it again i've already spent money on yeah. this years ago yeah. and it's just sitting there in a status where i can't play it okay so yeah. i thought oh, let's click on it 
fair enough. They updated it, which means I didn't have to oh, rebuy. Oh, nice. But oh, no. it plays worse. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. So they finally updated it. You can finally play it again, but it's shit. It's shit. It's really so, shit. Uh, why is it shit this okay. time? So, I was about to say, do you have a smartphone? <laughs> of course you fucking... So... No, I All still right. have my Nokia 3310. <laughs> 3310? They just updated Snake. Oh my god, they <laughs> yeah. do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, so, on the previous mm. uh, original Doom port to the mobile, essentially, yeah. um, when you were looking left and right, fair enough, your, your fingers were on the screen of on either side and you moved that way, and yep. to shoot was just a tap, and to open doors was just a tap on the yep, screen. Yep, yep, yep. But when you needed to move directly left and right to be able to strafe, yeah. you were able to turn your phone um, okay. like sideways, so that way it wouldn't interfere with you pressing any other buttons. Yeah. So yeah. you could run around like crazy and do everything you needed to do yeah. while controlling Still, at the same time. Yeah. yeah. Okay, right. They removed that element. Oh. Which means when you're trying to dodge like incoming fireballs and bullets and things, yeah. you kind of have to stop what you're doing and move separately and you can't, can't because of the control pad it can only do so many things at once. Yeah. You can't shoot, look, run at the same time very well. Uh, so okay. you kind of have to play it so it's a game designed for speed and aggression and yeah. fast-paced action. You really have to play it kind of slow. Oh, no. Yeah. And knowing you and being such a fan, I'm sure that actually does impact the quality <laughs> of like your performance. Yeah. That's just us, Taylor. Impotent yeah. Doom fan. Eh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, so my erection for this has gone way down. Yeah, yeah. I can imagine. I, yeah. I, 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 I just like the visual of you probably being like, fuck yeah, I didn't have to buy the game again. Sweet, let's get into it. And then like tilting your phone going, what the fuck? What the fuck? Why are you not waiting? Yeah, <laughs> so I don't know why they removed it. I do know that they... Mm. Uh, another company called Panic Button. Uh, they're some okay. of, they're only brand new. I've only just heard of them because yeah. of this. They're the ones that have basically updated these new ports and put put them out on Nintendo Switch and Xbox oh, uh, yep. One and and mobiles. Yep. I'm sure they play fine on yep. modern consoles because they have controllers and and PC and whatnot. Okay. okay. But the, uh, they exported it to what's called the Unity Engine, which is a right. modern game engine you might have heard of. A lot of games use it, but for yeah. mobile, it's just it's not great. Yeah, right. Yeah. That's yep. very disappointing, man. Yeah. Yeah. Anything else come out of QuakeCon that had your balls tingling with excitement? Um, or your erection pounding? Or no. throbbing? <laughs> throbbing? Hard <no>. penis? What <laughs> else? <laughs> what no. else could we throw out there? <laughs> yeah. Um, no, not really. So, yeah. So, there's the re-release yep. of Doom 1 and 2 and Doom 3 didn't come out on mobile because it's obviously a more mm. complex game. Uh, but that's got a re-release, which is really cool. I've already got it, so I don't need to rebuy it. So, I yeah. don't really care about that. Okay. Um... There's been a few updates to to Rage 2, which I've been harping on about a little while. Okay, yeah, yeah. I still haven't yeah. finished it because it's a long game. It's padded. No, but that's right, but changes. you're taking your time and you're playing, taking my time and enjoying the it. fucking thing. Exactly. Yeah, that's right. As opposed to those YouTube reviewers who just busted through it and missed half the story. Yeah, like yeah, literally. I know me. I've complained about this before, yeah. but you got me started now, Mitch. So. Oh, here we go. It's a, just skip it's forward a, two minutes, guys. If yeah, you, no, go on, feel free. Um, <laughs> I'm not putting time codes in. Fuck you. Uh, so... <laughs> Open world game. There's a hell of a lot to do. Yep. People finished it within a day and gone, no, this game sucks for these reasons. It's... How about review it after a week? You know, enjoy it first. Oh, yeah. Anyway. Uh, but other than that, QuakeCon wasn't massive. There wasn't anything. I was, I was going to say, you, know? you, you, you equated it to like, I know it's a lot smaller than E3, obviously, oh, yeah, but you, you were, you were, your excitement levels for QuakeCon were almost at that E3 level, if not... More, yeah, yeah. Because every and year, you, 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 seem, you, seem, year. you seem to have come away from it uh, underwhelmed. I have, yeah. Because all they talked Gosh, about on the upcoming Doom game, Doom Eternal, is the multiplayer. Which, which I don't have any friends. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'll play it with you. Oh my god! Do they cross platform? No. Fuck yeah. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> so you know, uh, we're stuck to Fortnite for now. If we're going to do a cross play, but we do have some fucking news about that, which we'll talk about in a moment. <coughs> oh, you got that as well. Yeah. yeah. I could just feel that it, they're tickling. So, speaking of hard throbbing dicks, <laughs> the 2019 first ever Fortnite World Cup is now complete. Yeah. And. Is your dick throbbing for that 13 year old? Oh, he was 16. I thought he was 13. No, oh, he is 16. Booger. Sorry. Yeah, no, he was 16. But um, uh, I'm, I'm going to phrase That doesn't. Sl- wait a minute. I, that doesn't make it any better. I'm gonna, <laughs> legal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to phrase that differently, but um, yeah, yeah, that has now wrapped up after the three-day tournament, and man, 
That was mainstream news, man. It Having was. I saw it on the ABC, and I was yeah. like, not that I was actively watching. I got, it, I got, pl- I got a link internet. sent yeah. to me from the Today Show, from Sunrise. Man, it's made worldwide mainstream yeah. media. Congratulations to Booger, yeah, sixteen-year-old who absolutely dominated so, everybody. What and was won his prize? Three, like three million. million US. Yeah. Holy shit! See, and people, people laugh at Fortnite still. Yeah, it has now given away over its tournaments more than any other game. Yep, in the world, its tournaments are off the charts, man. And yeah. the, the the solo tournament portion of it went for five and a half hours. Yep, on YouTube. Fuck, I watched it, bro. <laughs> Esports is massive, man. Uh, like, I, it's, I, I skipped you know. through everything except the matches, like all the filler in between stuff. Oh, but so where like, they talk and yeah, yeah, exactly. But it had millions of viewers, so, dude. Fortnite is legit. I've been telling people. Not just... See, the reason I'm all on board about this occurring, this young kid winning these huge fucking numbers, is not because it's Fortnite. Yeah, that's great because that's a popular game, blah, 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 blah. But the thing that I've taken away from this is that the article that I saw on the news, Mm -hmm. which I clicked on, was like, you know, who said gaming can't be a career? Literally them and all other news articles for the last 30 fucking years. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. I yeah. know, right? Of course. Fuck they're, they're like, you. I know. Fuck but you. Th- fuck you news. Yeah. Listen to TCTP instead. We've got the good stuff. <laughs> no, that's right. And we'll tell it how it is. And yeah. news outlets can suck a dick. Suck a dick. Because, no, you're right. That's exactly right. Like, they're all like, wow, look at all these teenagers breaking in. Because um, I think outside of the top 20, they made 50,000 for just being in the finals fuck that's yeah that's still there, there was there yeah. was the 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 kill count leader for the day was a argentinian kid named king who yeah. scraped into the um solo finals by being at the minimum age of 13 fuck and he finished with more than fifty thousand oh. like, dollars yeah that's what i mean but you know what the worst thing about that is that we don't have fifty thousand dollars <laughs> yeah or three million yeah or a little what was he? Filipino kids? No, Argentinian. Argentinian kids making yeah, the money. King. He came. He came. He fifth. may not receive that money until he's of a certain age. Uh, I'm not. You I, know, I don't like, know, man. Like, I feel like yes, maybe under the 16, uh, 16 year olds, probably it has to go to a legal guardian. Uh, yeah, like but, a parent. But, and you know what they're gonna fucking do? They're gonna take it they're all. They're gonna and... support their kid and put it in a trust account for them <laughs> and let them buy whatever they want. No, they're gonna be like, "Well, you have played fucking video." Like they, their parents worked their entire lives, <laughs> yeah, exactly, to live in Argentina. I'm sure it's lovely. I have no idea. <laughs> and this kid's just like, "Well, fuck you. I'm gonna sit at home and play video games yeah. all day but and I'm, rake it in." But I'm not sure if it was Booger or one of the other um, like top competitors in that solo finals bracket. Yeah. But his mother used to break his headsets to try and stop him playing video games. But <laughs> yeah, he just, well, you know, he's... persisted being a kid and stuff and yeah. look at him now. Like they're all Fuck making careers out of it. I can go buy yeah. myself more fucking headsets. No, but the most interesting thing I found about the solo finals was the fact that all of the big Twitch streamers who make monster money off this, yeah. none of them qualified for it. Because so, they're not sweaters. They're entertainers. Yeah, they so, are amazing at the game, and I wouldn't want a 1v1 for them. So like but Ninja and those N- kind of... Ninja, dogs, Tim yeah. the Tapman, Courage JD, Dr. Lupo, all of those guys, yeah. n- not even close. <laughs> not even close to it. The only known name like from my viewing experience on Twitch was Tifu. Yeah, you know right. Tifu? Nope. Okay, well, yeah, he's been regarded as probably the best competitive player. Yeah, right. And that's why he qualified, yeah. but he's also one of the top streamers, but he finished like 60-something. Fuck, like man. yeah, no, these kids were fucking nuts. See, I think the reason that like you know a, a kid so young won it, but not only that, but a lot of kids mm. qualified up to those higher levels, is as you get older, your motor skills get slower. Yeah, you know, no, like, of course. But in saying that, like outside of Doctor Lupo, who's like seventy two, that's yeah. a joke. Anybody who knows Doctor Lupo, ha ha ha. Um, <laughs> No, they're all mid twenty year olds. Yeah, no, I get I, that. I, yeah, but I'm just no. saying, like, I think to myself when I was younger, yeah. I used to be able to play. I'm not saying that I'm worse, but I'm a like I react differently and slower, yeah. and it's just a natural fact of life where these energetic kids can play for like sixteen hours a day. No, no, no. Of course, know, of course. As where as you get older, it starts to slow See, down. One th- one thing we need to remember about this is Fortnite literally just celebrated their second birthday. Yeah. So it is still a very young in its prime game, like the Battle Royale portion of it. Yeah. And now that it's gotten to this stage, there's going to be another World Cup next year. There's going to be more tournaments over yep. the next 12 months. The thing that gets me is we haven't had five World Cups to determine if somebody can go back to back or the same people can qualify. Yep. So 
who knows next year those guys who were in their mid 20s like Tim the Tatman Ninja and all them who knows whether or not and, um <laughs> sorry just had an awkward moment there with the recording <laughs> yep. um yeah they could they could fully just commit to trying to actually become competitive yeah and who knows next year you may get more names in there in the Fortnite world but so the average age of competitor was 16 yeah out of 100 players and average think, age 16 that's could you imagine how insane. many other 16 year olds around the world didn't get the chance because no, they're in right. other countries or whatever no no, no, no oh no see that's the thing there was qualifying regions ah, australia had five okay. competitors in that solo did final. they yeah so uh, did they go so where was this they held? Were, it was in new york and yes everybody got flown there yeah, got put okay. up for three days and yeah, they right. had their own setup there. So these people are fucking rock stars, man. Oh, it you was know? in Arthur Ashe Stadium in New York, yeah. where they have the U.S. Open, and it sold out twenty thousand yeah. seats, bro. So the world of like modern sports and things like that is certainly being, I wouldn't say left in the dust just yet. No, 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 no because no. you know competitive sport, you know rugby, soccer, gridiron, or see Australia crowd football. figures are dying, but America those crowd figures will never They're die staying, for their sports. Yeah, they, they always the country is just chock yeah, full of it. Exactly, but esports. As much as it's still fairly small in its own niche, yeah, the, all of these kids. Well, let's say for example, thirty, uh, say thirty-five and younger. Mm. We're all going to grow up, and we're all going to get older, and there's going to be future generations playing these games, exactly, and they're all going to be great at them. Yep. You know, where do you see this in fifty years' time? I, I honestly don't know. Do you see this like overtaking modern sport? I see it getting to a level where it could become competitive with it. Yeah, see, so like, like, like I'm sure they've got that. You'll e- be seeing on ESPN or whatever channel it is. Well, you know, you've got your fucking Super Bowl dude. and you've got your Fortnite or whatever the big thing is at yeah. the time. You know, well, Booger, he was all over Sports Center, ESPN, Instagram pages. Yeah, the motherfucker was on Fallon tonight. The next night, was he? Yep. Oh, I gotta watch that. That's yeah. what I mean. Like, it's insane how fast this is going, and Fortnite yeah, being the. Again, I don't want to offend any gamers or anything, but Fortnite is basically leading the way with this expedition of making it mainstream to that degree, if yeah. that makes sense. Who, like, are you, who are you offending? Who are you saying sorry to? No, no, no. Like the Fuck hard, those the, guys. No, no. <laughs> like, like somewhat yourself as well, the hardcore gamers who love gaming and stuff. And I know there's like um, those, I, I can't remember what they're called, but they do have gaming leagues and stuff like oh, that yeah. where they do perform in arenas, like not yep. as big as Arthur Ashe, but yeah, it... it it's going to be interesting seeing the evolution of that. It's funny you say that. Like, mm. you're speaking of, you know, just to p- take it back to QuakeCon a little yeah. bit. QuakeCon itself started, and it still is, a convention where everybody brings their PCs and competes against each other to a final winner of Quake, the game Quake itself. Oh, yeah. So it's it's the same thing, but it's been yeah. going for donkey's Wait, years. Wait, but they bring their own PC? Yeah, because oh, it's... Jeez, it's a, can't afford it? Fuck. <laughs> it's a pissing contest. It's like you bring your own yeah. custom thing, and you know, it's it's that's the cool. world. It's considered the world's biggest LAN party, and oh, that's, that's what cool. it is. Yeah, yeah no, that's so awesome. I think there is a bit of prize money. I'm not really sure, but yeah. that's essentially it. But not obviously the these Fortnite games... Level. Yeah, these games... <sighs> Aren't, well, at, once upon a time, these mm. games were as big as. Yeah. But because they're 20 years old now. No. And there are modern versions. They're not as good. Yeah. But, you know, that's why Fortnite, which is something that gravitates towards a wider audience, yeah. is so popular because it's it's an easy game to get a hold of. Yeah. It's a relatively easy game to pick up and, and, I think, I think and it, get used to. Not only that, but also I think that it's set the standard in keeping it fresh. Yes. Like daily challenges, weekly challenges. That's like, right. Yeah. There's always LTMs, limited time matches. Like, there's just always something to do. Yeah, and there's all these new the seasons as well. The this season as well. Season 10 starts tomorrow. Oh yeah. my God. Well, I thought that already started. Didn't you no. say that? No, 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 no sorry. Uh, that was season nine ending. Right. And then there's this okay. like week and a half, two week transition I still haven't played it, man. Like, no. <laughs> I, I need to get on and just have a crack. Yeah, you do. <laughs> yeah. But um, no, like for example, the Fort Bites that they brought in this season, like find these little Fort Bites across the island and do a particular thing, add it to unlock it and you collect yeah. it and you get another skin like after you collect 90 of them. I only got like 75. Like, oh, yeah. No, no, no. But I'm just saying, like, as yeah. in, there's always something to do. If I wanted to, I could go home and, like, hammer down eight hours of Fortnite and still not finish all of the challenges I have sitting Yeah. There. Like, there's just always something to do. Yeah. So that's the thing, like, the way with, in a, that. with a lot of Fortnite players that I've played with, like yourself, and shout out to Callan and his group yep. of mates, and, yep. and, you know, Taylor's little brother, you know, mm. Nick, you know, he plays it and he. All of these people aim for the challenges. They want to do certain things to unlock of course. whatever it is. Of course. And I'm just like, 
I just want to just run around and shoot shit. <laughs> I'm no, so simple. No, no. <laughs> see, and, and that's what I went into the game to do as well. But yeah. then all of a sudden, you've put you, all this time. You, and you start. Yeah. You start to get a, a you couple of the challenges benefits. done, and you, yeah. yeah, you get a reward, and you get a new emote and stuff, and all of a sudden you're like, fuck. Yeah, I need it's to all get this these one. cosmetic little dopamine hits that make it no, feel that's right. worthwhile. But exactly. this is the problem that I have with other battle royale games. Yeah, uh, other battle royale games. Yeah. Um, Call of Duty's fantastic at this, and I think we've mentioned this before, where mm-hmm. the more kills you get and the more skills you you learn and master, yeah, yeah. the more shit you in-game earn, so yeah. to speak. You know, yeah. not yeah. just necessarily skins, but way the weapons work and new uh, gadgets and gizmos. And yeah. Fortnite is similar yeah. in that way, where they do set these challenges where when you complete them, you, of know, course. you get things that realistically have no value, no, but they have value to the person who's going out and earning that. Exactly. You see yeah. a motherfucker with an old John Wick skin, you know that that dude's legit. Yeah, like, that's right. Yeah, no, you Games see like th- PUBG, like I came second once. Exactly. I got yep. nothing for it. I was exactly. like, oh, yeah, fair enough. The game itself was fun. Yeah. It was exciting. It was exhilarating. But when yeah. it was over, I was like, there was no, it, there was no, no right. reward system of no. any, any kind. That's I was like, I would have be- been happy to earn a f- fucking sock color. Yeah, no. You know? That's, that's <laughs> so. the best thing about Fortnite where I have yeah. probably played now a combined about 1200 games mm-hmm. I've won 4 squad games and 4 solo games so I've won 8 Ooh, games out of 1200 shut yeah. up I know yeah, very good <laughs> I know. thank you thank you yeah. but um yeah so I've won about 8 games out of about 1200 yeah and I still play why because every time I finish a game I've earned XP. I've completed one third yeah. of that challenge. You've this, got that little sprinkle of dopamine. Ex- no, that's exactly yeah. right. Like, and that's all it comes down to. Even if I lose, I can still aim to do something in that game that will make me feel like I've won. See, I think, and that's like the best part about Fortnite. I think and my shut problem up, is Fortnite is, is I'm losing. I think that's. I think that's one of my problems. Though I'm a bit old school in the way that I'm a little bit. <laughs> I don't. I don't want to say naive. I think I'm a little mm. more. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm not going to say woke, but it's just a bit more aware. Oh my no, no, God. no, 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 no. I don't want to say this like, well, I know that there's like, I'm just like, it's all pretty colors. It's poker machines. I get and it. I'm aware of that. And most people are aware of it, but I can't switch that off. And that's my problem. Ah, uh, right. So you're a vanilla basic bitch. Yeah. Basic no, bitch. Yeah. You see through the charade of pretty <laughs> colors and sounds and yeah. me dancing on your ass when you get eliminated. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's, nah. you know, see, I don't you, know. You're just a basic bitch. You yeah. just need to turn that shit off. Like, treat it like a Michael Bay movie, man. Yeah. Turn your brain off and enjoy the fucking roar. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, on your booger, whatever his name is, like, yeah. killed it, man. You know, you know, bring Do it back it, next no. year and fuck, you know. Just to, just to get into detail about the games as well. He won the first game, got nine kills. It was 10, po- yeah. 10, 10 points for a win and then a uh, point for every elimination. And then so he could, came in crushing it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The first game he was crushing it and like led by like 10 or something like that. But um, you earn points for placement as well. Like mm-hmm. if you don't win and he didn't, he didn't concede that lead in the entire day. And ended up wow. winning the entire thing by twenty six points. Fuck! So, yeah. he, so he not just won by the skin of his nut. No, like he, he fucking he, crushed. He, he it. went into the last game, I think, up by twelve or thirteen. Yeah. Which is and then still... you saw like second and third basically had to have a perfect game. Yeah, and then he had to get eliminated quickly to um like have any chance of losing. Yeah, they got eliminated probably in top forty ish of that game. Yeah, so from that point he knew he won. So he just was camping, basically. Oh, <laughs> no, no, no. Not by smart his, motherfucker. No, yeah. not, not by his planning. He just like set up a metal tower and in the middle of the first zone. And then yeah. each zone was just in where his tower was. So, just, so he, he was up so there. So he kind of like, got lucky in a way as well. Or he probably, exa- he, yeah. knew it. he probably just knew it. No, exactly. He yeah. knew what he was doing. He was playing it safe. But then yeah. all of a sudden the zones came into his favor. He had like 27 AR bullets up there by himself. Yeah. And still got two eliminations from up in his tower Fuck, just man. to get a couple more points. And then all of a sudden he just... He, they had the camera on him and like um, his gameplay as well. Yeah. And he was just smiling and having a great time. And it was just fucking great. He ended up getting like three more awesome kills and coming <sighs> forth. Like, yeah, it, he's just, he's yeah. just having a great fucking time. He, he really was, man. It was fucking yeah. entertaining as fuck. So, so yeah, it's a, all congr- of so credit to him, man. Back Don't follow to me, him on Instagram as well. It's quite back, back to me being a bit sour about, mm. you know, uh, news stations and their articles about, yes. you know, video yes. games over the last 30 years. I've already made my piece and said, fuck you. But at the same time, 
This kid mm-hmm. bringing in these big busts is a fucking huge slap to the face. Oh, fuck yeah. To everybody and every news article that ever Absolutely. that have said that, you know, playing video games is not going to get you anywhere. Not only it's th- not going to get me anywhere, apart from maybe talking about it on a podcast, which... Not subscribe. only that, but for regular Joes like us that don't make a great deal of coin, you look yeah. at five Australian people, and I don't think any of them were over 23, yeah. that got flown to New York City, put up in a hotel, and both and all walked away with $50,000 for playing video games. If you're not in it... You're not going to win it. So you may as well have a fucking go. No, that's right. But seriously, five just regular Joe Australians yeah. like just got flown over to New York and got paid 50 grand to sit in a room and play games. Now, tell that's me this. fucking awesome. Did you participate or attempt to participate in this? Oh, I, I played the arenas and that, but you needed to get to a certain level of arena ah, okay. and collect points like based on results and stuff so like they that. Did, so and then, they did and then pick one... them out of their like entire customer base. No, no, no. They, they didn't get handpicked. No, 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 no. You, you had to start at the beginning qualifying stage of Arena. Right. Okay. Arena. Yep. Move up to, I think it was Arena 5 or 6 or something like that. And then once there, then they had World Cup qualifiers. Right. And if you had okay. Arena points, you could qualify for the World Cup. And yeah, it okay. came down to so, like... So you started in this Arena thing with everybody else? Uh, yeah. Oh, of course. That's cool, Yeah, man. exactly. But I didn't sweat it out. I went back to regular straight away. Like, <laughs> yeah, no. Because <laughs> no, uh, yeah. it, it was like, this is too hard and I can't do challenges in Arena. Okay. So that just took out my part of the game that I enjoy, you know? Yeah. So oh, that's fair enough. But no, exactly. I'm definitely next year though, I'm gonna be cranking <laughs> and sweating on the arena tour. Man, fuck now, yeah. If you want a fair shot, yeah. you should get yourself a PC that can play Fortnite. That computer that you've got you that you're looking at right now barely runs. I can hear Explorer. the dial up internet going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not even dial up, it's still yeah. making that noise. Yeah. Sounds like a Harley when you crank it up. So Fucking I'm a. guessing everybody who won plays on a PC. There were, um, I think, I think there was five or six console players okay. in that solo. World See, that's Cup interesting final. because and they were kids. Like the, any oh, shooter amazing. with a controller is way outmatched with a mouse and keyboard. Oh fuck yeah! You know, so yeah, big time. But at the same time, there are quite a few successful streamers, and as we found out from the World Cup finals, yeah. there there are some console oh, no, players they, oh, who actually. Yeah. Can do it, man. It's crazy. <laughs> They're it's better crazy. than me, that's for sure. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. No, I know. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. They, they can do it. They can do it. I can do it. So what were you telling you me just a what were you telling me just a second ago? Uh, regular people are fucked. Yeah. Yeah. Regular what? people are fucked, man. So what what does that make you, man? I'm a regular person and I'm <laughs> fucked, man. <laughs> I'm fucked. Right. And I need some more of that cough medicine. <laughs> <laughs> the sleepy time stuff. <laughs> Yeah, um, so what's your golf form with Deal Buzz Buggins? Well, you got a nice segue? Well, so far we've spent 30 minutes talking about gaming stuff. Mm-hmm. So yeah. speaking of throbbing cocks... Oh, yeah! What well, do you got? you know... Uh, I so- want every segue this episode to be... So speaking of throbbing cocks... <laughs> okay. Yeah, sweet. Speaking of throbbing cocks... Mm. Uh, now, we've brought this up a lot. We I say this a lot, and yes. we've brought this up a lot. Of it course. too, it's got a runtime. Did you see that? Two hours and 45 minutes. Oh, my oh, God. Yeah. And, oh, and that's not oh, including oh, the director's oh. cut. <laughs> so hopefully when Holy shit. Blu-ray DVD comes out, there'll oh be a my three God. hour cut. Yeah, man. and we're and we're gonna do TCTP T TP 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 Wait, you can do this you can do this TCTP DT Blu-ray. Yeah. You can do this No, Absolutely, man. When they bring out that director's cut, we're watching it. Fuck yeah. Oh my god, man. Two hours and forty five minutes. Yep. There's part of me that thinks that's still not long enough. Yeah. Because... See, I'm oh, glad that mm. they're just going, fuck it, we'll put... And not going, yeah. oh, it's chapter three to make up the last bit. No, they're, they're no, not no, doing no. a... a Kill Bill. It first? It wasn't... Was it Kill Bill or was it Harry Potter that split like one movie into two? And then, Harry Potter did it and Kill Bill was supposed to be one movie. So they both yeah. technically did it to a degree. S- speaking of Kill Bill, there's yeah. been rumours that Kill Bill 3 may be Quentin Tarantino's final movie. But there's also talks about this Star Trek project as well. See, the, the star- rumor mill is circling. The, 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 the Star Trek one, I could see him doing as like a for funsies, like just because yeah. I can kind of one to see how it goes. But I reckon if we're going off the, you know, how Once Upon a Time in Hollywood is the ninth Tarantino film. Yeah, I believe that if he does do Kill Bill three, that will be the tenth and last. I would his think Tarantino films, if you know what I mean. I I'm would doing air quotes all over the place here. <laughs> yeah, and nobody I can see you, man. The, the listener <laughs> understands. Yeah. No, I would think that as well, but it's been a little while since I've seen Kill Bill, and we'll go back to mm. it in a minute. Um, but the Kill Bill movies are fucking fantastic. Oh, my God. It's so good, man. How much do you remember about Kill Bill 2? And before you answer that, yep. Mike, what I'm getting at is yeah. does number three need to happen? Was no. there any room? No. 
Left. Not at all. No. Not at all. Okay. Literally, and I'm going to do a big spoiler here if you haven't seen Kill Bill. Spoiler alert for a 10 year old movie or Exactly. Older. No, no, no. Uh, 15, I imagine. <laughs> 2004, yeah. I believe. Yeah. Kill Bill in the, in the second one, she kills Bill. Yeah. Bill's Literally. Killed. Yeah. There is no reason to have a Kill Bill 3 outside of it was fucking awesome. Give us more. Unless there's another Bill to kill. It, no, that's right. Exactly. It would have to be like, kill Paul, the neighbor down the road. Like, like literally, where do you go from that? The you, sequel, kill Bills. Yeah, it's, <laughs> uh, kill Bills, where, where it cuts back to the end of number two, where she kills Bill. And then she's like, wait a minute. Checks her phone and goes, oh God, there's another Bill. He was a dick too. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm going to have to do something about that. Ta-da! Kill well, Bills. It's set in what? What is set in? Like, is it set in the nineties or is it modern day two thousand and four? I think it was. It just had flashbacks to like many years earlier. Okay. Well, let's say sense. for example, she's doing a Terminator and she's looking through the phone book. <laughs> Everybody with the surname or first name, if they Bill, show, Bill, just yeah, kill I, the I'd Bills. I'd totally be yeah. okay with Uma Thurman, the bride, just walking around killing motherfuckers. What's yeah. your well, <laughs> What's your name, William? Ah, that's a Bill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fuck it. You dead? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Watch out, Willie. Yeah. Um, you get that though, right? Like, as in yeah. Bill is short for Willie. Yeah, no, yeah, I, cool. I, I, yeah, I, I got that. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. You just kind of, yeah, no. Cool. Speaking of throbbing cocks. Speaking of throbbing cocks. Yes. It too, it yeah, too. It looks fucking so, amazing, man. Nearly three hour runtime, and that's just yeah. the theatrical release. Now, I know. That's so that exciting. That gives me man. the impression that not only has a lot of thought gone into this movie, Ooh, yeah. but it's jam packed full of. Story exactly, and I don't think it'll be jump scare, jump scare, jump scare. Jump oh scare. no, no, no! I think no, no, there'll no. be more no. story beats than there are horror beats, yeah. and or there's probably a good mix of both. But still, mm. I, I, I am keen, man. If, that if, is, yeah. If we've learned anything from any Stephen King act adaptation, they're very story focused. Yeah. As much as they will scare the shit out of you, and in particular this one, clown. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of people who aren't going to see this because clowns, clowns, yeah, but. No, I'm fully... Send I, I, in the clowns. Krusty the Clown? You haven't seen that? Simpsons? Oh, it's, oh, it's, Simpsons are okay. It's not a recommendation. What? Yeah. What? Yeah. What? Yeah, it's a, wow. Anyway. That was quite a lot of yelling. I like the Simpsons. God. Anyway. No, I, I fully expected Chapter 2 to excel expectations. And in all honesty, I could totally see it going down for like a visual editing Oscar. Like, yeah. Just... Uh, I haven't been this geared up for a movie in so long. Right, and there's it's been insane. some fucking huge movies out in the past few yeah. years. But as I put it out there on last, I think it was uh, probably every episode. Yeah, this of is my most anticipated movie this year. Yeah, I mean, I've seen a lot of movies this year, and See, I can go wait, through the wait, ones wait, I was wait, really wait, looking wait. forward no, no, to. No, no, we need to we need to just take that back one second, okay? For yep. me, I know that it's this movie. Yeah, dude. You literally had Avengers Endgame this year. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, exactly. Yes. Well, that's basically I what know I meant. That so that's I write... come and gone, but think about the anticipation. Well, that I... summed up 10 years of Marvel movies. Here's my list for everybody who can't see that. I have a list. I write down every <laughs> For movie. everybody that can't see, that's fucking everybody, man, Literally. Except me. <laughs> yeah. So I yeah. write down every movie I see within a year and the date. So at yeah. the end of whatever... Because he's adorable as on- fuck. ...online entertainment project that I've got in yeah. the works at that time by the oh. end of the year I'll be like well this is my first my worst and best list um, <laughs> look forward to that on the YouTube channel of TCTP available on Poppy and Spotify Apple Podcasts and <laughs> YouTube Big Summer Blower <laughs> fuck you <laughs> other than <laughs> it too I almost nodded <laughs> oh, you good? Don't totally good. Talk totally good. Uh, yeah. Other than Avengers Endgame, yes. which I was very, very, very much looking forward to. Yes, of course. Maybe I've forgotten, and the hype's gone because it's out and been and gone. Yeah. I still think. I say if I say if I had a pretzel mm. rating of how excited I was for something, <laughs> I'd give rating. Avengers Endgame yes. like a twenty pretzels. Yeah. I give it to like a 22, 23, Like yeah. In all honesty, I will say we've been doing this podcast now for fifteen episodes. Yeah, you've uh, uh, we started right before Avengers Endgame came out. Yeah, and I feel like whether or not maybe it was because it was a new podcast or what, you definitely didn't seem as hyped for that as you have been for it. Chapter two Man. every fucking week. Yeah, every, every time there's a lick of week. news, I'm... Bill Skarsgård went and bought mangoes on the weekend. Holy shit, mangoes <laughs> spoilers! Oh fuck you, Bill! And yeah. you know what he did with those Ooh. mangoes? He ate them. You know Ooh. what else he does? <gasps> he eats things. Kill Bill. Oh, Bill Skarsgård. Oh no, Bill Hader. <laughs> Fuck. In chapter two, why? We can't go and see this man. It's gonna break our hearts. <laughs> the bride is gonna come in at the Shit. very end and kill oh, everybody. Oh my god, I can imagine her just touching their chest. Oh, 
Well, that's how Kill yeah. Bill. Yeah. yeah. Kill Bill Chapter 2. She kills Bill by doing... Oh, what was it called, man? Uh, I, she like It was like punch, punch, poke or something. And I can't like, remember what it was like called, the, but it was, it was like some kind of maneuver of where she touched... Or something. She touched... I like to call it the touch of a woman. <laughs> all of the pressure points are in a person's body and it like instantly stops their heart. Exactly, yeah. I'm no, pretty no, but sure it's like that a, it's a load of but, shit, but, but it's so cool. Well, it is because he could sit there being completely alive until he tried to take like three steps. And That's by the, right. By the third step, he dropped dead. And it he could have been like, I'm going to stand here until somebody brings me a wheelchair. No, that's right. Exactly. I, I, I'm just going to sit. What you going to do? <laughs> what you going to do, Uma? Yeah. yeah. Uma. I can move mountains. I can work. Okay, so you no. haven't heard Uma Thurman by Fallout Boy. Cool. No. Moving on. Speaking of hard dicks, it's chapter two. It's chapter two. All right. Yeah, yeah no, so that's fucking two, awesome, man. Two hours and 45 minutes. There's going to yeah. be a whole bunch of it too, and I'm super looking forward to it. Oh, my Lord, yes. Speaking of hard dicks. Yes. Zombieland. Throbbing. throbbing. Sorry. Throbbing dicks. Zombieland yeah. double tap. Oh, yes, Queen. That. that yeah. That Darth was. Queen. That, yes. Is that that's better? at. Yes. Thank was you. released last week, but we kind of got swamped with literally everything else. Of course, Comic Con. Yeah. Um, but mm. I've been looking forward to this for a long Dude, time. Dude, this one should have had a sequel like five years ago, man. Yeah. Zombie Zombie Land was fucking amazing. Yeah. At the and time. I'm totally okay with number two. Like, I'm so yeah. excited. Woody Harrelson, Emma Stone. Yep. Yep. Good. I always get Emma Stone, Emma Roberts, and that Emma Watson. I definitely confused. 100% want, understand why. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, and uh, what's Jesse his name? Eisenberg. Jesse Eisen- Eisenberg. Yep. Yep. And, and the other and, young and what's chick. her name? I yeah, have no idea. I, 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 I can't think of. I just. I'm just thinking of Chloe Grace Mortez. That's definitely not her. <laughs> I know exactly. Yeah. yeah, but no, fucking a man. Totally cool, so cool with that. Zombieland was very unique horror comedy, which came out kind of in the middle of when it there came out in all- 2008, 2009, when I was working at the video store. Yeah, it's one but, of those ones that's attached to me because of that reason. I'll but, always remember the year. But what I was getting at is yeah. that. Sorry. There wasn't a lot of other horror comedies. Yeah, that's right. At the time. Fuck off, cunt. <laughs> Don't fucking stop mid-sentence five, seven minutes later to tell me fuck off. Uh, yeah. There wasn't a lot of, a lot of those movies that were similar were coming out of the time. Yeah, that's right. And this one... <laughs> <laughs> Only if you could see me right now. Uh, oh, oh, no. I'm sorry. You, you good? Here, let's just play some music. <laughs> All right. Speaking of hard throbbing dicks, <laughs> yes, no, you got it, one stuck in your throat. Okay, um, I, <laughs> yeah, no, that was. I, I apologize for that, people. That's um, fine. What were we saying? Uh, uh, Zombie Land. Zombie You, Land, was, you were saying tap. how um, it came out and it was like the first of its kind, kind of thing. Like it I was, wouldn't say first of its kind, no, 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 but, no, but first of its kind in an era when there wasn't many others like it. That's true. And it that's was true. as much as shit that Jesse Eisenberg cops because he's. He plays, he, like most other actors, he plays the same character in every movie. Yeah, he's, he's, he's good. He's got that in, Michael Cera vibe about him. But he's a more sophisticated Michael Cera. Yeah. He, he definitely he can play a business he's smart. Man. Yeah, Michael he's a, Cera has always seemed like an idiot. Yeah. I do love Michael Cera, though. So I'm one I. of the few people that actually really likes what he does. Favorite Michael Cera movie, go. Uh, Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. Okay, good choice. Thank you. This yeah. is the end. And oh ah very oh yeah but he, he wasn't in that for that long. And then it's he, still my favorite Michael okay, Cera no, movie. That's, that's all yeah, that matters. That's because he's playing an exaggerated version of himself, and it's pretty fucking. And funny. he gets hard slapped by Rihanna for real. Man. Oh no, I know that was fucking fantastic. But also, I just want to yep. give a shout out. His best performances though, yep. Arrested Development. Have What's you he seen on that? that? No TV oh, series. He was yeah. No, I haven't was seen he it. But on I, that, that was like his thing, every episode, bro. Yeah. yeah, cool. Yeah. But anyway, um. No, Jesse Eisenberg. Yeah. He's fantastic. Yes. The other Michael Cera. Yeah, no, he's good in no, most things. That's right. Have you seen the show, the Social Network with Justin Timberlake? I watched it a long time ago. I've only I, seen it the once. I, but I was going to say, I think I've great. seen it twice. Yeah. But I feel like that could be a future recommendation in episode like 87 because it's actually a really stellar movie and Justin Timberlake deserves so much more yeah. credit in the industry. Every industry. Music, <laughs> yeah. movies, dancing. I'm sure choreography. I'm sure patchwork. I'm sure he knows how to knit a quilt. I'm sure like he knows how to make pottery. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. And he knows how to sleep with mums. He does. He does. I'm sure he's got a great podcast too. I have no idea. Oh, it wouldn't surprise me if he just tapped into that because he's like, hey, everything I touch turns to gold. I've got ramen noodle hair. Like, yeah, no, that, that, that's pretty much yeah. it. But um, no, Zombieland, double tap. Yeah. Um, 18th of October this year. 18th of October. Yeah. Very so good. it's actually somewhat 
soon. The way this middle portion of the year has just disappeared, yeah. I'm sure that October will be here in no time. Well, we've got a lot to look forward to in those later months. Oh, man. The, you know, the, the, there's going to be end... TCTP does the cinema. Oh, no. Oh, don't no, shortchange no, no, no. the people. TCTP DTC. I was going to, but my mind was like, TCTP, nope. <laughs> yeah, no, that's fair. Um, um, no, at uh, the back end of this year, man, we might have to do some double taps ourselves and go twice a week. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm keen. Oh, no, trust me. I'm keen as well, yeah. man. With the shit that like is changing in my personal life and stuff there's going to be so much more time for this podcast man and I'm Yay! keen as fuck fuck yeah Abigail Breslin that's a name that's yeah. a name not Chloe Grace Waters <laughs> no. we knew it wasn't her but still Abigail Breslin she's yeah. been Emma in Stone, a Woody lot Harrelson. especially when she was a kid Oof. but I think this is okay, her biggest okay. whoa, whoa whoa okay I'm sorry I just wanted to tell the people I, I'm cheating I've got the IMD page open for it so I could see yep. her name it says that Bill Murray's still listed in the cast. See, last week you were like, no, no, IMDb's legit, man, legit. No, it's no. It's totally it, not. <laughs> I bet you five dollary dues right now Bill Murray is in this movie. Oh, I'm sure he is. I'm ah, just saying, see? No, 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 I'm just so saying. You're, admi- you're admitting that it's possible. <laughs> I'm saying that it's possible because no, his cameo I could, was hilarious. I can tell you exactly right now by looking at this cast list why he's in this. Why is that? Because Dan motherfucking Aykroyd's listed right below him. What? There's going to be a zombie fucking Ghostbusters in this movie, man. <laughs> and I'm so excited, even That's more cool, so man. for it. Yeah. But at the same After time... the first Bill Murray scene in the first one, yeah. I'm all for Bill Murray. I loved Murray. how he admitted in that movie. Yeah. I'm sure everybody who's listening to this has seen it. Of course. Um, but he was like, oh, what's your biggest regret? He goes, oh... Garfield. Garfield. Yeah. Because as a kid, no, but, I love that movie. No, but do you know why he regrets that movie? Why? Because um you'll just give me a second, but he signed on to the project because yeah. he heard the director's name and was like, Oh, sweet, I know those guys, that's amazing. I'll do that. Yeah. And I believe it was the Cohen brothers. But Garfield. No, 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 but he's the kicker. He's the kicker. And you're gonna have to give me even more of a second because I took a wrong wrong turn here. Okay. But speaking of wrong turn, have you seen wrong turn? Those I've horror seen movies? Wrong turn Henry Rollins, I think it was number three. The first time I ever got high, I watched the that first... movie. <laughs> really? That's Thanks for listening, an odd tidbit. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Wrong turn one, two, and then three is good, and then there's like six now and then. There's, there's a other... reason why I don't remember it. The other ones are fucking shit as yeah. fuck. But anyway, the director for Back Garfield. to Garfield. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Okay, I may be... Comp- oh, there we go. All right. It was written by Joel Cohen. So one of the Cohens. No. Well, no. Not even. Exactly. <laughs> That's... Yeah. And uh, uh, don't, don't, don't like pin, pin uh, yeah. me to this or crucify me for it. But I swear to God, I've heard him say I heard the... Co- like the Cohen, Cohen brothers, brothers yeah. or like somebody, co- Joel Cohen, and was like, oh, yeah, sweet. I'll do that. It must be good. And then he just got like signed onto like it, had random- to do it legally. But then the thing that gets me about that is if he's telling the truth about that story, yeah. he did the fucking sequel. <laughs> he did! Exactly. He, and it was so bad. Oh my God. I, what was it? So, like He, he was like a... The fucking the, Queen's Cat or some shit like, like that? Like a British castle or some yeah, shit? Yeah, because... I, and like the I haven't fu- seen it, but yeah, I remember no, seeing no, the trailer. Exactly. Yeah. All I'll say is I love Breck and Meyer. Yep. He deserves to have had a better career. Yeah. <laughs> He's a good dude. Yeah. I like Breck and Meyer. And I rate... Rat Race. That was my recommendation in like he was episode in that. five or something. And Breck and Meyer is a standout in that movie. And I... I it's I, that ace. I rate Garfield, Garfield hey. Hey. It's a good... Sorry. Ah, yes. Yep. I rate Garfield, hey. I love that movie. It's it's a nostalgia trip I will me. say I have put it on for my son like in earlier years. And chuckled? No, and... Put put it on for myself, yeah. <laughs> because he didn't. He, he saw. I was like, uh, it was, he was at the age where I could trick him by being like, "Hey, look, big orange cat. He talks, and he'd be like, Fuck you, don't do it, Dad.' Is that exactly? And I'd be like, "Yeah, Brad. <laughs> yeah, no. Fuck you, yeah, Dad. Put it on, cut. <laughs> yeah, fuck on, hey, man. Get the bong, eh? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know how weed smokers talk. <laughs> get get the crack pipe. <laughs> crack pipe. Fuck I, I, d- I don't know. Just get the fucking glass <laughs> bong, mate." Could do you cut for me? Is that a term? Chop? 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 I don't know. Mine? I just, just want to inject three marijuanas, thanks. <laughs> yes, I'll take one whole eight ball. And go to hell. <laughs> what were we talking about? Garfield. Um, hard Zart, throbbing dicks. Land. Yeah. Yes. Um, Speaking of hard throbbing dicks, Emma Stone. She should be good in the movie. <laughs> That's valid. I'll yeah, give you that. Why not? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Speaking of Emma Stone, she's been in a movie and dated the person who's the star of my recommendation this week. Yep, I got Andrew there Garfield. in the end. No. What? No. What? Andrew Garfield. No. Who did she date? Because you were just talking about 
a future recommendation, yeah. which is Social Network. Social Network. Yes, which is in. Which, but no. Yeah. No. So who, who else is it? Ryan Gosling. Did they date? I fucking hope so, now that I've said it. <laughs> they were in... But they've been in La La Land They were in La La Land and... and they've been in, like, I, I swear, at least uh, two more. I Come really on, like yep. this movie and Taylor makes me watch it a lot, but I enjoy it every time. Oh, uh, um, I, I, I know which crazy one. Crazy Steve Carell. Yes. That movie's great. Yeah, that really was, yeah. yeah. I went to the movies and saw it and it went Did for you? like two hours and 15 minutes and yeah. I was like, I get it. <laughs> it was good. Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, that movie was actually really quite good. Really, really. Yeah. Kevin Bacon? Yes. Oh, yeah. fuck yeah, man. Kevin yeah. Bacon. Who doesn't know Kevin Bacon? I love Kevin Bacon and he yeah. smells good. And he's, I'm sure he smells great. Yeah, exactly. He's a celebrity and his last name is Bacon. You yes. had to get there. <laughs> of course. So speaking of hard throbbing dicks, what else did you have? Speaking of hard throbbing dicks and mm. Woody Harrelson. Ooh, I like it. Woody Harrelson. Yeah. So <laughs> he's set to that play. That is a hard throbbing dick now. Woody Harrelson. Woody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you really didn't click that together? Nope. Speaking of. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Um, what was no. I saying? Yeah, so. <laughs> Hard throbbing dicks. Woody he Harrelson. will be playing Carnage in the Venom sequel. Yes, of course, of course, of course, of course. Have you seen Tom Hardy's Venom? Uh yeah, I saw pre-screen, bruh. Oh my god! Yeah, I did. I saw it like three days before it came out. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Pre-screen, yeah. So the horrible thing about that character, <laughs> he's got this big, ugly, red rig, yeah. red, yeah. red wig. No, um, wed rig. Wed yeah. rig, yes. Yeah. Um, and it's like, it's got to be carnage and it's horrible. But yeah. uh, Andy Circus is in the, the, the rumor mill to be directing Venom 2. Okay. Please All tell right. me who you know who Andy Circus is. Tell me. Um, what? Tell me. You don't know who Andy Circus is? No, you tell me and I'll, and I'll tell you if I know him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so he was the motion capture and voice for Gollum. Oh, right. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Of course I know who Voice he is. Voice and motion yes. caption for yeah. Caesar out of the yeah. Planet of the Apes yeah. movies. Yeah. He was Claw in Black Panther so and all directing. that. directing. Directing. Okay. He is right. such an... I mean, everybody knows him, but as an actor, yeah. he's so underutilized. I'm not going to say underrated because everybody knows who he is, but no, I no, think no, he's yeah. underutilized. Okay. I think he, w- he could have been one of the better, more complex MCU villains. Mm-hmm. Because Ultron cut his arm off. Yes. And then, in, have you seen Black Panther? Uh, yeah, half. Half of it? Anyway. Yeah. So, the best thing about that horrible movie yeah. is that Claw, played by Andy Serkis, has yeah. that arm cannon thing. Yeah. And it, you know, opens up and it transforms and he shoots like Mega Man out of his arm. And I'm yeah. just sitting there going like, holy shit. He, and he's like South African and he's witty and he's clever. Yeah. Like, he could have made a really good long-standing okay. you know, MCU villain, but he died in that movie. And I'm just like, well... I don't want to watch the rest of this anymore. <laughs> oh, really? So he didn't even die like at the end? It was like halfway or three quarters oh, through. Yeah. That's really spoiler disappointing. Alert. Yeah. But spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. But yeah, he's going to be directing. So yeah, I think okay. I don't know if he's directed anything before. Well, it's funny because I just went onto the Venom 2 IMDb page and yep. there is no slot for director. So okay. like it's, you said, it's like rumor mill. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, but that that would be really cool, man. Like yeah. he obviously is a very creative guy. I mean, oh, why man. the fuck not just throw your hat in the directing ring? Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But speaking of hard throbbing yes. dicks, speaking of hard Did you hear dicks? that the writers of Avengers Endgame have expressed their interest in writing a Superman film? Really? Yeah. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. Now, there's obviously nothing com- yeah. f- confirming that it's yeah. actually going to happen. Yeah. But rumor mill is well, not rumor mill. They've actually expressed themselves. Yeah. Um, and got a lot of milk out of it. it was a really th- thrilling experience of expressing. Yeah. Okay. That's you're not getting that joke, are you? At all? No. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm just yeah. Heart throbbing dicks. Yeah. I'm yeah. all on board. Expressing milk. Oh. Oh my god. All right. So Jesus Christ. Now we know that this is going down. If you can, fast, man. If you can write a movie about time travel and mm. have it somehow work. Mm-hmm. On a scale like that, mm-hmm. and to make it, uh, yeah, violent, emotional, yeah. funny, scary, and emotional again. Yeah, I think they have everything that a Superman movie needs in terms of definitely. Writing skills. But I also want to know why they want to ruin their careers. <laughs> because let's be honest, I mean, DC movies are basically fucking dead in the water, man. Well, they're on I'm the uplift sorry, it's because we've take... got Wonder Woman, Aquaman, and Wonder Woman 84, and Shazam, which you haven't seen yet, which is great. It's good. Well, sidebar, um, I did actually rent it. Oh, you rented it? Yes, I right. did. 
Unfortunately, I only got half an hour into it, <laughs> and then both of my children decided to be assholes that night. <laughs> And they both decided to have nights where I can't be asleep for more than five minutes. Blah, blah, blah. So I just had to end up ending the night Dirty early. Dirty dogs. And, but I was enjoying the fuck out of it, yeah. man. Like, I genuinely thought that it was it was really fucking good. Yeah. I was having fun with it. Well, you know, I certainly, certainly rate it. Mm. And if you get the chance, certainly oh, watch no, no, it again. No, I'm going to re-rent it. Don't worry. I'll yeah. pay the six dollars again. Yeah, six bucks. It's fine. You know, um... Towards the end, I'm not going to spoil anything for no, you. No, no, you, please. It may have been spoiled online, no. but there are some moments in there which are so cliche, super horror cliche. Oh yeah, and they make it so funny, man. You like, mean superhero? What did I say? Super horror? Did I? Yeah. Oh man, <laughs> go back and listen. Super horror okay. cliche. Super horror. So motherfucker, well, there are some girls. Yeah, <laughs> these motherfucking trascals. Yeah. Um, what was I saying? Yeah. So yeah. Oh, fuck. There are what a few things that were cliche, but very cliche, and but the ending because it's a comedy. Of course, they knew what exactly what was happening. Of course, and they wrote the dialogue to be like this happening in real life would turn out like this, and this is why it's dumb. You yeah. know, and oh man, and no. at the very end, the very end fight sequence, it was a bit lackluster in some parts. Oh, okay, but that's only because the 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 heroes, you know, like well Shazam, he's a yeah. child. Of course. He's not going to be, you know, whipping out Kung Fu anytime soon. No, exactly. Um, But what happens there, mm. the story itself is like, fuck yeah, that's sick. I recommend it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So No, I'm definitely going to be finishing it. But I know what you mean by those cliche things because I got up to the part where he first tries to help the lady in the park and that. And yeah. He's trying to stop the mugger and yeah, she's kind of like, I pepper sprayed him. It's okay. And he's like, oh, well, you, sir, and like punches him across. The- and he's like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. Like, <laughs> yeah. It's just things like that that are very superhero cliche. But yeah, yeah. No, no. So I'll definitely be renting that again for yeah. sure. But yeah. back to the subject is that DC movies are kind of on the de- incline a little bit. A yeah. little bit. Yeah. So, and there hasn't been a really good Superman movie since... For the first Christopher Superman Reeve versus one? the Mole Man, nineteen thirty-five. That's exactly right. Yes, yeah, nineteen thirty yeah. something rather. That was yeah. great. But in modern cinema history, no, if you can no, really yeah. consider it yeah. modern, nineteen seventy something, whenever Superman one and two, Christopher Reeve. Mm-hmm. Now, if you go back and watch those movies, yes. Superman somehow turns back time by spinning the Earth backwards. That is dumb. Yeah. Oh no! Absolutely, so, that makes no fucking sense. No way. No fucking sense. I mean, sense. fair you enough. Know. He can fly. Yeah, yeah, he's a Superman, but time doesn't work that way. No, that's right. If you <laughs> if you take it if you take our fucking world off its axis for a split second, everything will die. Everything's instantly. dead. Like the, <laughs> Superman's yeah. like shit. <laughs> yeah. Superman and the Mole Man, nineteen fifty one. Fifty one. Okay. Yeah. Maybe. That's what it says. Hmm. Okay. That's strange. I know Superman. Yeah. Like, was it in the thirties? Well, was it George Reeves? He's George Reeves. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Nineteen fifty one. There you go. Um, there only, is a bit of other Superman only news. Only got a 5.9 on IMDb, man. You better Fuck, get on there and rate it. better get on there and rate it, yeah. Yeah, the pretzels. The pretzels, man. Mm-hmm. The pretzels are tasty. Yes, but... What was I saying? Yeah, about so I think and, a Superman yeah. movie, whether they bring back Henry Cavill or not, yeah. I think deserves a focused narrative mm. and a skilled team of writers. Because we've had yes. Zack Snyder Superman, yes. which was dark and gloomy. Not many people liked it. No. It was good in its own way. Yeah. Then Justice League came out, and we all know what happened. So I don't. I mean, we've discussed it, have we? Yes. Oh, really? But it was half written oh, by wait, Superman. Dies, right? Yeah. Yeah. In Dawn so of he's Justice. Dead. Yeah. So is he actually dead? No, he came back in Justice League. Oh, typical. Yeah. Spoiler, right. dude. I was thinking about that? this the other day. He got stabbed in the chest. Oh, did like he? a big fucking <laughs> hole right through his chest. Yeah. And then he came back, and there's like not a scar on him. I mean, I get that he's Superman, but like <laughs> I was gonna say, do you not understand the point of like but, the Man of Steel? If, being a mortal. If he was able to heal while mm. dead, yeah. does that make... Like, if they were to leave him like dead a little bit longer, would he have cooked enough to just come back to life on his own? You, you totally are overthinking this way too much. <laughs> of course I am! Considering they literally can just explain it by like, oh yeah, Superman, you're back? He's like, how's your chest? He's like, oh, it's all That's right. a little itchy. <laughs> yeah, no, it's like, That's waxed to perfection, bitch. <laughs> yeah, it's, <laughs> it's yeah. chiseled as yeah, fuck. Exactly. Oh, but I'll never show you. I'll always wear those tarts, bro. <laughs> You don't know. I'll you don't tell me. You, you don't know my secrets. Life. You don't know the, the the nine steps to perfect abs. <laughs> exactly. Um, um, I I will just say like somewhat sidebar. Henry Cavill. I don't want to see him come back and do it again as Superman. Yeah. Let him do something else because he's probably outlasted and as long as anyone should in that role, considering yeah. how shit the fucking movies have been that he's yeah. been in. Like 
dude, his career should be dead. And I <laughs> thought it was going to be when he was in Scott Pilgrim versus the world as one of the vegan police. Yeah, go was back and really? watch it. Go back and watch it, man. No, no, yeah. no. He wasn't the vegan police. He was like the the boy vegan boyfriend with the um bl- bright blonde hair, and he had vegan powers with the white eyes. Yeah. He was one of the evil hold boyfriends. On, hold on a second. Google it. I'm being serious though. Like Google I know it's him, Henry Cavill. Yeah. You sure? Yeah. You're not thinking of Chris Evans, are you? No, no. Chris Evans was one of the vegan police, yeah. I believe. No, no, no. Henry Cal. Yeah, was no, he? he was the he was the vegan boyfriend with the white eyes. I did not That's know this. Man. I'm sitting there thinking, hold on a minute. What? No, because did you looked- know he was in a Hellraiser movie? No, I did not. There you yeah. go. <laughs> one of his earliest works was yeah. a, was a Hellraiser movie. One that really? I haven't seen. So this I have is- it. A la Leonardo DiCaprio in Creepers 2. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. That's fucking awesome, man. Yeah. Yeah, no, but I'm I'm fully here on the... What was his name again? <laughs> Henry that's Cavill. A, that's how memorable he is to me. Um, God, good I hope ep- I'm good right. E- good episode. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up, man. You should be carrying the conversation while I'm Googling. Didn't we have this agreement? So, well, uh, things and stuff and, and, yeah. and such happened. And, but and- Superman, yeah, no, there's no point in doing that. Yeah, no. Let him yeah. let him do something else. Yeah. Hellraiser, Hellbound. No, Hell World. Sorry. So this is where. Oh, so what? Two thousand four, five, thousand three. Very close. Oh, man, this is the I'm one where Hellraiser good, goes. He's somehow put in a MMORPG online. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Those mm-hmm. movies. Fucking yeah. Suck. Um. What was I saying? Yeah, he definitely. I don't see him on this list, man. I don't Shut see up. him being in Scott Pilgrim. Hold on, let's Google it. Henry no, 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 Scott no, 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 no. Who were you thinking of? Oh, man. I... <laughs> <laughs> what? So you were thinking of a Superman. Superman. Who was it? Brandon Routh. Oh, <laughs> fuck. I knew it. Okay. Uh, there you go. That's the one whose career killed it. Yes. Yeah, his that, career... Brandon Routh's Brandon... career died because of Superman. Yeah. Henry Cavill has probably lasted longer than anybody else since Christopher Reeves. Yeah. Pull the pin, dude. <laughs> Do something else. <laughs> Cast a new Superman yeah. to ruin their careers like Brendan Routh. I'm so sorry. Brendan, I know you're listening, buddy. Keep yeah. your chin up, mate. You'll find a new job. You know how... It's funny you say that because oh, I wasn't actually going to bring... I knew it was a fucking Superman, though. And they all look the fucking same, technically. Was, yeah. They are literally cast to be the same person. I am not wrong. I, Clark Kent. Fuck you. Yeah. I wasn't going to bring this up as yes, news because every other sort of entertainment news source has done it. Of course. And I don't think it's anything that you're particularly interested in. But mm. Brandon Routh is yes. returning to the TV... As his version of Superman, which is technically a sequel to Christopher what? Reeves. There's a CW, a, an extended CW TV series where they expand on the multiverse or whatever in this universe. Yeah. And they're bringing in Brandon Routh's Superman, Linda Hamilton's... No, Linda, Linda Hamilton's... Linda, Linda Carter? I Fuck, think what's her so. name? Not, not Linda Hamilton. <laughs> definitely not Linda Hamilton. <laughs> no. Linda such and such wow. as Wonder Woman. But he's like... I remember watching Superman Returns and really enjoying it because yeah. I'm a huge fan of Christopher Reeves and it definitely has those story beats. Yeah. It definitely isn't a strong movie at all. No. He doesn't I have throw a seen punch. that. No. Yeah. And Kevin Spacey's like, um, uh, I can't even think of the villain's name because of how bad it was. Acquitted? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. A, 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 alleged. Um, yes. <laughs> Lex, Lex Luthor yes. yeah. was... Yeah. Shit, and it was like, oh, real estate again. It's like, no, Lex Luthor's better than this. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, you know, I think in the right hands. Mm. I mean, at the time, it was probably considered to be the right hands. Yeah, uh, so that version of Superman could be really good. And I think coming back all these years later I in a TV just, series which has know, a bit more love to it. Yeah, but it's but, not going to be the next okay, big so, thing. Uh, one one thing Marvel did is, uh, as far as I'm aware, you may correct me, and I may be completely wrong, but. When they cast, I may not a, know. No, when they cast a person as a character, that person played that character. Like, they didn't have different versions going oh, at yeah. the same time of the same character. That's, I understand, like something yeah. like Edward Norton, and then turning into Mark Ruffalo because they needed to recast. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. But then after that, it was only ever Mark Ruffalo. They didn't have a sidebar TV show with somebody else playing the Hulk. They didn't have yeah, a sidebar right. of another movie of a prequel with somebody else. Uh, that's DC because... just seems to be like, you played him, you played him, you do yeah. that. Oh, that's look, be- we've got four super match. <laughs> <laughs> like, how the fuck are you supposed to follow along with these storylines, motherfucker? That's because Marvel has Fucking this Smallville. What the fuck was Smallville? Uh, pff, I don't even... That's, that's what I mean. I'm like, yeah. Jesus Christ, there was like two different Supermans on the big screen and then this motherfucker in Smallville being like, I'm Clark Kent and the fucker. Yeah. 
Like, that's literally how that's I see the, the DC I universe. <laughs> I don't think they've ever kind of had their shit together. Now, yeah. I'm all for, and I will to this day until I die, say that not everything has to be a shared, connected universe. No. Like, like the upcoming Joker movie, for example, is its own fucking thing. That's okay. That's cool. But at the same time, they don't have in the next fucking DC United Justice League movie, the Joker there. Yeah, that's oh, right. Oh, wait. The Suicide Squad. Right, they do have another Joker. Yeah. Fuck you, DC. I don't get <laughs> I don't get you. Yeah. I don't understand. So, I don't know. Yeah, no, What exactly. are we talking about? I don't fucking know anymore, <laughs> man. Uh, rentals? <laughs> rentals? Yeah. yeah. Um, no, I don't understand. Shazam? Spider-Man. Yes. Did I say that yet? No. Did rentals. I? Are you sure? <laughs> I finally we rented had Spider-Man. some crackling and we had to re-record that. I I'm part and you forgot to bring it up again. I can't remember if I've already I seen literally threw episode. rental to you at about three times to try and be like, hey man, bring it up again. Okay. And you kept forgetting. <clears throat> yeah. Spider-Man so, Into the Spider-Verse is the best on-screen version of Spider-Man we'll ever get. Oh my God. What? This is news to my ears, Dylan. <laughs> What are you saying? I finally no, rented it I the know, other day. Man. Absolutely. It's fucking cracker of a movie. Yeah, yeah. it's like, great. Top it's to really... bottom, that movie is fan-fucking-tastic. There's one thing... No, actually, there's two things that piss me off about it, though. One, yeah. it's a massive Sony plug. Like, in the first, like, 15 minutes, he's oh, wearing the Sony headphones. Oh, I'm my God. Like, yeah. And stop I could, stop and I could have... flicking your own clip. Fuck on. Stop it. Put it And down. after listening to the radio forcibly at work for, like, oh, months, yuck. That, that Post Malone Sunflower song... Any Post Malone song. I could have done without just, fucking oh, yeah. that being played, like, six times in the beginning. Yeah. But, but no. Outside the other of thing that, is, this could have been live action. There's no reason why a movie like this, even with the set and the style and the cinematography, yeah. this couldn't have been live action. I totally get that, but at the same time, I'm so how it was it. done, I'm totally yeah. I'm a, it's, yeah. It's, it's, a, an, it's an out of a it, genuine pretzel rating of five. It's a four point five. Like it is like that fucking good, yeah. man. Well, for me, I give it. I give it straight five. The perfect movie. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, okay. th- I think. Fair enough. It, like the an- I'm a huge fan of animation. Yeah. And of I course. I love their shit and the little mm-hmm. nuances that they have in there and the flicker of the that they make it look like a comic book and they yeah. even look like made it look like where certain comic pages weren't printed right and they got flicks of that. It's and the bagel goes bagel when it hits the yeah. head. You know these little things I fucking love. Oh man. Was... And Kingpin was yeah. great. Oh fucking a. That you can't cast that live action. See, Kingpin has been cast live action. Yeah, I know, but it wouldn't Daniel. have had the same effect. No way. That's what I mean. Like uh, everything about this movie is fucking phenomenal. Yeah, it's really such a good movie. This is a group TCT re- recommendation that's made us both thirsty. Yeah, Spider Man Into the Spider Verse. Get on it if yeah. you haven't. You've if missed the if boat. you're a fucking oh. idiot like me who's been thinking about renting it or buying no, it, exactly. just, just go out and buy it. You will not regret it. Oh, 100%. It is just fucking... It's flawless, man. Yeah. It's and fucking it, flawless. The thing, the other thing, the, going back to... That like, goes yeah. Nicolas Cage as well. Yeah. I know, right? I'm taking this cube thing with me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's so good. Um, the, What was I saying? Yeah, the thing that pissed me off is that I think... The story was so good, and yes. it could have been live action, is yes. the fact that Sony couldn't write... And produce a Spider-Man movie so good, mm-hmm. but why can't that translate to the exactly. live action? Why can't Ex- that level of storytelling exactly? It doesn't even have to be big fantastical set pieces. It's no, just that right. quality of storytelling. Why can't that see, be in see, any of the live action star- Spider-Man movies? As much as this movie is like so good visually, or Venom, <laughs> exactly. you know, like Venom One wasn't great. No, it's good. But it's not. No. It's not. It's no spider man. No, that's right. But as much as this movie is visually phenomenal, you can tell that it is a story-driven, very well-written, very well-directed, very well-voice-acted. Very film. well everything. So yeah. How, how... Yeah, so you're right. When it comes to live-action Spider-Man, why have they not hit this home run yet? Yeah. As in, seriously, like Sam Raimi in that first three with Tobey Maguire, I will love them until the day I die. I know number one's the best and then they slowly get worse. Yeah. But... It's a nostalgia trip. For exactly, sure. exactly. Yeah. But this, as an actual film... Hmm. How come you can't do that with live action? Because yeah. it's fucking awesome. But yeah. yeah, no, I'm glad you finally got on the board, met, got on board, and yeah, it's fucking phenomenal. And the other thing as well that it made me realize too is that mm. as of late, yes, I'm a huge fan of superhero movies, but I found two of the best story told. No, sorry, the, the, two of the best story quality movies yes. have both been animated superhero movies. Number one being Spider-Man. Mm-hmm, number mm-hmm. two being the Lego Batman movie. 
<laughs> have you seen that? Of course I have. It's great. I know. It's, it's really one good, of man. the yeah. best Batman movies. It really is. It really is. And I will. And I'm just going to say this. I've loved him for years and years. But Will Arnett is just such a fucking good actor, man. Even yeah. with just his voice. He's so I love so, him so badly much. cast in the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movies. But oh man, he's great in that, everything else. Yeah, I know. I, I I don't know him alongside Megan Fox, and he's like staring at her ass. It's just like is it Megan Fox? Yep. No, it's yep. not. It sure is. Oh, okay. Look no. it up in your IMDb, no, yeah. man. Oh, shut the fuck up. No, <laughs> for some reason in my head, I'm like, you thought you meant Megan Girl. Chloe, Chloe Grace Mortez. Chloe, it's Mortez. No, it's Moretz. Tourette's. Well, why the fuck wouldn't you correct me earlier? Because I, I corrected you Chloe last Gra- week. What? Chloe Grace Mortez? Yes. Go yeah. back and listen to it. I, I do not remember that at all. Maybe it was the week before, but still, yeah, I, I have good. done it several times. Probably, already. but at the same time, Mortez just sounds easier. <laughs> Mortez, Mortez, Mortez. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna escape Mortez. <laughs> oh, wow. Well. Um, should we get on to our next segment? Yeah, I believe we should. I man. think I've ran out of news, at least for now. I mean, yeah. we haven't talked about the news for like the last 45 minutes, but... No, that's, that's, okay. that's fine, man. Um, all right. Yeah. Next segment... Take it away! Please insert tape B to continue. <laughs> Alright, I think it's time for our favourite segment of the week. Yas! Oh, pass! Oh. Excited! Oh. Blah, blah, blah! I nearly All fucked right. that up. You heard no, me. fuck yeah, man. Alright, yeah. this week we have our three movies coming to the cinemas. Mm. Or should we start it off with the big blockbuster or go to an animated film? Let's go to an animated film first. An we'll leave the blockbuster to last. An animated film, alright? We are looking at... Here comes the grump. What? Here come. Sorry. Here <laughs> comes the grump. Oh, so it's a movie about me. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, Dylan invites Mitchell over to do a podcast and yells at him the entire time they press pause on the recording. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Help. <laughs> no. All right. Here comes the grump. Is uh. <laughs> oh man, you know it's a kid movie with the first sentence. Balloon kingdoms, dopey oh. police dragons, and happy wizards are exactly <laughs> how Terry remembered the grandmothers. Wait, hold on. He, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Out of all of that, yep. the name is Terry. <laughs> it couldn't be Bubblicious or Balloogity Boo. It's fucking... Te- yeah, Tez. Yeah. In the balloon kingdom so, with crazy dragons. All right. I, young Tez. You, you, you interrupted me, so I'm going to have to start again. <laughs> balloon kingdoms, dopey police dragons, and happy wizards are exactly how Terry remembered his grandmother's wacky fairy tales, except they are real and it's definitely not as cheerful. Oh, no. In quotations. Oh, so what, So they're insinuating that it's That it's not... dark. Yeah. As fuck. It's rated MA, so I'm just curious. Yeah, cool. I'm joking. It's I was going to say, fuck, I hope you're Animated genuine. as if fuck, you, If you were legit... Okay, yeah. Yeah, I showed him the picture. If not you good. were to say that, you know, it's legit MA, I'd be like, yep, buy me tickets. Yeah, no, th- th- that's right. <laughs> that, that, that sounds like a morbid, like, Hansel and Gretel kind of thing. Like, uh, wait, are you saying if it was live action? No, animated. Oh. Oh, I love R-rated cartoons, man. Like, they're the best. Oh, right. Like Sausage Party? I love that movie. Yeah? See, I I kind of felt like the hype outweighed the end result. I didn't get to see much of the hype, which was good. I kind of went in kind of blind. I just knew it it was a Seth Rogen animated movie about food coming to life. I'm not shitting you. I went in seeing that this was in pre-production like two years earlier. Right. So I always had my ear to the ground in regards to that one. And by the time it came around, I was like, oh, man, yeah. Yeah, the falafel fucked something. Like, you know, like, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, yeah. It's exactly yeah. what you expected. It, exactly, yeah. yeah. Except less blood. Yeah. I wanted more blood. More blood. But. But. Here comes the grump. <laughs> here comes the grump. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, here comes the grump. Um, I, I, uh, doing a bit more research for this segment. Um, it's actually, I believe, about a year old. Oh. And it's a foreign film. Coming that's been cinemas over you. Called A Wizard's Tale from last year. But it's coming to the cinemas in Australia tomorrow. Wow. As in this Thursday, 1st of August. <laughs> has, it, has it been this highly anticipated in Australia that we've had to wait an entire year? Dude, I just watched the trailer in my spare time. Holy shit. Oh my God. This is... No. I've got, pass. Pass. No. Where did it come from? You said it's in a foreign film. Yeah. I'm going to guess... German. I have no idea. Yeah. I have no idea. Uh, so, the, the it's international directed list- by Andreas Kutairi. K- K- <laughs> All right. Pass me Yeah, on. no, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. So, are we moving on to the next film? Moving on. All right. Yes. Fantastic. We are looking at the Longly. Longly. <laughs> oh, sp- sorry. Speaking of hard dicks. All right. We are, have got the much anticipated, the hugely blockbuster spin off to the Fast and the Furious. Oh, my God. 
<laughs> Fast and Furious presents Hobbs and Shaw, starring Dwayne the Walk, Dwayne the Dwayne the Walk Johnson and Jason Statham. Oh my god! <laughs> All right, so yes, can so say that again and, for anybody who didn't hear. Fuck. Fast Wait. and Furious presents Hobbs and Shaw, the spin-off starring Dwayne the Rock Johnson and Jason the Stone Statham. <laughs> <laughs> I, try, um, I, I tried to say that with such confidence, but my face just melted. Yeah. Um, now, yes. Now, at this point in mm-hmm. Dwayne the Rock Johnson's career, yes, he really doesn't need to be referred to as Dwayne the Rock Johnson anymore he, because he everybody doesn't. knows him he, now he, as he Dwayne Johnson. Man. He doesn't. That's just no. me because I love him. Oh, yeah, and no, I, and yeah. I like him as the Rock. No, yeah. if you go back through his career, you can literally see on the movie posters from the beginning. The Dwayne, Rock, The Rock, The Rock, the rock yeah. Dwayne, The Rock Johnson, Dwayne, The Rock Johnson, and then eventually Dwayne Johnson. And it was just okay. Dwayne Johnson. Yeah. Dwayne, fuck. <laughs> just, try saying his name six times. Now it's just the Dwayne, Dwayne Johnson. Yeah, I challenge anybody to say Dwayne Johnson six times in a row really fast. Dwayne Don't Johnson, do it. Dwayne Johnson, Dwayne Johnson. Fuck. See? Yeah. Dwayne Johnson, 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 Train station. <laughs> Jason Statham. <laughs> Jason the Stone Statham. So, um, we all know about Fast and the Furious, whether or not we've seen them all or not, which I know you haven't. Nope. And I so, don't plan to either. No, exactly. Man, Idris Elba, Helen Mirren, Eddie Marson. Yeah. It's not enough to draw me in. I really don't want to see this, man. So, what's your, so what's your verdict? I will... Uh, well, no, I will just sidebar as well. When we've done TCTP, DTC, yeah. um, the few times, I think we've seen the trailer almost both times. Yes, we have. Yeah. yeah. It looks like it would be fucking fun. Yeah. It seriously looks like a Michael Bay classic, Switch your brain off, happy days. Yeah. But <laughs> I don't want to see it. Not enough to I hook I really you. don't want to pay any money for this, like, shit. Yas! It, you're a yas? I don't give a flying Whoa. fuck about the Fast and Furious franchise. I know. But mm-hmm. this looks fun, man. I can't deny that it looks great. Really? Yeah. It really? looks super dumb. Yeah. And I love those characters and I love, well, the characters from what I've seen in the trailers anyway. Yeah. How they're just completely over the top. They're ripping into each other. Idris Elba says, I'm black Superman, which completely cuts off any possibility of him being an actual black Superman. Yeah. Um. I, I, I gotta admit, it looks it looks good. It really, looks fun. Really, man. Yeah. Like, I, 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 just I, I doubt like, whether I'll actually get the time to go see it. I'm sure there'll be something else. No, out. I was gonna say, but also I can't imagine you coming out of it going, "That was fucking great." Like, Pro- I just feel I like, may go see it and be like, "Yeah, no, you're right. I should have done something else." Yeah, I just feel like it wouldn't be a cup of tea. And I feel like as much as a lot of people haven't seen the rest of the Fast and the Furious, I know it's gonna rely a fuck ton on that. Like, you reckon? I just, though? I, do you I think do, so? I do. I think there's gonna be. I think there's going to be a lot of like callbacks to like past relationships and stuff like that. Is like, gonna be especially considering Hobbs and Shaw, the last Fast and the Furious. Talking Fury. like this, you know, I am Groot. What the fuck are you? Are you Vin, Vin Diesel, Diesel, the fattest muscular the f- man ever. <laughs> his Go, head like, is so round. <laughs> so is his belly. That's yeah. the thing. So this is one of the reasons why I haven't watched those movies because they started out great. You know, they were about racing. You know, now they're just yeah. completely over the top. They're Ocean's Elevens on I wheels. Can't, yeah. I mm. can't buy into Vin Diesel anymore. Oh, really? No way. He okay. Was, Iron Giant as yeah. a voice actor where he's like rrr, 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 rrr. speaking of Vin Diesel I just yeah. wanted to uh, sidebar for a split second mm. he just had a stunt double of his mm. get ridiculously badly hurt like critically conditioned while filming Fast and the Furious really? 9 really? fucking hell he had a stunt double die while filming Triple X really? yas he needs to start doing his own stunts no, that's, what what I mean. killed. <laughs> that's what I mean like yeah. going back to Triple X like, like I know that was 15 years ago but he had somebody die fucking doing hell. a stunt for him and then old mate was doing a stunt, didn't work out the first time. Yeah, I'll do it again. And like broke his fucking neck. Fucking hell. Like legit. And it's like Vin Diesel was... The whole article, this poor dude has just got rushed to hospital for like critical fucking condition, like yeah, life threatening. Really injuries, yeah. And the whole article was focused on they saw Vin Diesel sobbing. Yeah. Like, they, don't give a fuck. they don't give a fuck about, no, the, about the, the stunt, stunt double. double. Exactly. Yeah. But that, that, yeah, anyway... But so yeah, it's like it, I would buy into Vin Diesel if he was like I know him and The Rock have their beef and whatever. Of big course, babies. But if he if he actually went, listen, dude, yeah, yourself and Statham and all these other great muscular men have come into this mm-hmm. franchise and left him physically in the dust. 
Yeah. He is not physically imposing in no. any way, even though he talks like it. That's There's nothing... You're literally doing like a country western accent. I know. I can't do accents. No, I can't do Vin Diesel uh, outside yeah. of him. It, I remember oh, him in good. one of the Fast and the Furious going, this is Brazil! <laughs> and like doing that, and it was like, oh, yeah, the fuck up. Yeah, put those... Yeah, wings this away. is Brazil, and he tried to do it in like that Spanish half Spanish half thing. This is Brazil. <laughs> it's like fuck Just off. Just like God. you trying to say Dwayne the Rock Josh. Dwayne the Rock Josh. Yeah, Dwayne the Rock Josh, and Jason the Stone Statham. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's a pass for me, man. But yeah. you gave it a yes. I'm gonna give it a yes. Yeah. yeah. Whether I actually see it will be a different story. But no, that's right. It looks fun. All right. Last last film for the segment this week is a film called The Public. Mm-hmm. Yeah, The Public. It is directed and written. By Emilio Estevez. What the fuck? You don't know who Emilio <laughs> Estevez is? Explain. Charlie Sheen's fucking brother. The one who didn't sell out to the Sheen name. Right. Are you seriously that confused as to who Emilio Estevez is? <laughs> yeah, I've what never heard of this name fuck, before. dude? Dead set? I know Charlie Sheen and the wow, other Sheen. The, the, that's the, the grandpa Sheen. He was Spider-Man. Martin uncle. Sheen? Martin Sheen, that's Fucking correct, hell. Yeah. Really? Okay, yep. well, anyway... Fuck, I, I'm so super. I was expecting Emilio Estevez and you'd be like, whoa, no way, that's fucking awesome. <laughs> and I'm like, nope, I don't know him at all. Dude, I, I want you to IMDb him and be like, oh, I'm so sorry. Okay, all right. Yeah, so but while, a... while doing that, the public is the film name and an act of civil disobedience turns into a standoff with police when, home, when a homeless people in Cincinnati take over the public library to seek shelter from the cold. Now, to me, that actually does sound quite appealing, even though you're, I'm just I doing know, this podcast by myself. I know exactly who this is. Yeah, damn fucking straight. You know who Emilio Estevez is. Now- uh, Emilio, I know you're listening, mate. I'm so sorry for his rudeness. I'm looking at this man yeah. on the internet. And I'm going yeah. like, holy shit, he's 100% Sheen. Yeah. <laughs> he's Sheen. But he didn't fucking- sell out to the Sheen name. He was at the Breakfast Club. Exactly. The Mighty Ducks. He- sorry. Yeah. The Mighty Ducks. Uh, yeah, you're going to have to turn that part of the podcast down. I'll yeah. give people a headphone warning. <laughs> yeah. 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 Dude, that's what I mean. He's Emilio Repo fucking, Man? Yes. Maximum over. He's done some great... Man. Yes, he has. And he is a better, more talented actor than his brother. Because his brother was funny. Emilio is a talent. Yeah. Okay? Now, can we get back on track? Is he funny, though? Charlie Sheen? <laughs> no. No. Yeah. Winning! <laughs> yeah. All um, right. Can I, can I read you the plot? Even though the it. listeners have already heard it. The public. It... An act of civil disobedience turns into a standoff with police when homeless people in Cincinnati take over the public library to seek shelter from the cold. Library. I'm sorry I pronounced that wrong. Library. Yeah. That's interesting, man. That's it really is. Alec Baldwin in it. Uh, hey, dude, who's doing the segment, bruh? Back Me the now, fuck bitch. Up. No, Alec Baldwin. So it's written and directed by Emilio Estevez. It's yep. starring Alec Baldwin, Emilio Estevez, Christian Slater, Gabrielle Union, Michael Kenneth Williams, Jeffrey Wright. The list goes on. Like, yeah. it, 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 it's a stellar stack cast. Christian it Slater. Seems, Christian Slater. Is the kind of guy who's been in all the movies you remember. Exactly. You know, like, he's... That guy deserves more, but at the same time, he's done a lot of shit movies. Christian Slater, you, you, but half the time, his face is kind of, like, puckered up. And I know, like, right? He's I'm always gonna, so I'm gonna, serious. He's hey, like, hey, I'm going to shoot ya. You're, you better watch your face, kid, because I'm going to... I'm going to kick it in. I'm going to make like, it look yeah. like man. Yeah. We're, we're, we're both doing... This is why we need to film the podcast because we're both doing <laughs> amazing Christian Slater places. <laughs> but yeah. anyway, so the public comes out tomorrow in cinemas in Australia and I'm very intrigued, man. Yeah, it like, sounds... This sounds it, like it's it looks actually, interesting. Yeah. And the fact that it's like Emilio doing his thing, this is his movie that he wrote, directed and is obviously a part of acting. Yeah. I love Emilio Estevez. I don't mind me some Alec Baldwin. The rest of the cast looks pretty fucking good. This is a yas, man. Yeah. I'm all I'm going to give that a yas as well. Yeah. This totally feels like a TCTP, DTC. Like, just, we could just go and do it just casually. Just be like, hey, let's go and catch drama. Yeah. Yeah. No, have but we, it's, we haven't it, done that yet, have we? No. What, what do you mean? What movies have we seen? We've, we've seen, seen Crawl, Crawl and Stuba. And Stuba, yeah. That's yeah. Great. So we've seen the horror, the uh, comedy. Let's go and see a drama. Let's go see a drama. Yeah. TCTP, DTC coming next week. At ya. At ya. Scheduled in permit it this week, but you know, YOLO and such. Yep. That's cool. my excuse for everything. Well, that was a very thrilling Yasha so Pass. It we've... was, <laughs> until I had to read the bio of that movie twice because <laughs> you motherfucker. So, yeah. what's that? We've got two two Yasas and one pass for me. Anyway. Well, yeah, same. Cool. Wait, <laughs> no. Two passes and one Yas. <laughs> I didn't like the first movie. 
the, 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 the what was animated the one. Oh, that's right. I was Something about... I'm trying to oh, think of what it comes was. Here comes the Dylan. Here comes the... Yeah, and the then, yeah. <laughs> you did realise what was going on. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. All right. So... Mm. Mm. Oh, man. I am parched as parched. a motherfucker. All right. These motherfuckers in this motherfucking room are motherfucking my parch first. <laughs> are you following? Are you following? No. Well, as far as I'm concerned, these recommendations are making me thirsty. thirsty. My girl's in the tractor, my paws in the coffee. Segment song. Yes. <laughs> All right. Welcome back to the podcast, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dylan, along with my co-host. Mitchy man. <laughs> oh, Mitchy man. You <laughs> didn't give me any time to uh, think of anything. There's a reason I do the clever names. I'm yeah. No pee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Anyway, mm, recommendations. Mistake. Dylan, would you like to kick it off or would you like me to throw myself under the bus? Um, you know what? Mine's going to be fairly short. Okay. So I think I'll go first. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Which is completely That's not what, what we pre-planned, man. <laughs> no. Okay. I think yours may take a little bit longer to get through because you've got a bit of story behind yours. Uh, uh, yeah. You know what? Fuck it. Go. Oh, okay. All right. My recommendation comes from... What is your favorite John Travolta movie? Uh, Staying Alive. Sweet. (laughs) Okay. Cool. (laughs) That that was awkward. (laughs) Why did you do that to me? I don't know. Okay, cool. No worries. What's your favorite Burt Reynolds movie? (laughs) What? The the best little whorehouse in Texas. I love it. Yep. I mean, the whorehouse. The movie was shit. (laughs) Anyway, moving on. So, speaking of hard dicks, (laughs) my movie, as I mentioned earlier... Ryan Gosling. Ah. Okay, and this was a little... He does make dicks hard. Oh, (laughs) Hello, can you hear the table right now? No, doesn't reach it. That's... (laughs) Oh, it's true. (laughs) Anyway, so going back about eight years ago, exactly eight years ago, (laughs) because it was 2011. Sit um, around the fire, Let's tell you a story. My ex and I were driving through Newcastle, and is the old cinema still there? Which one? In the middle of Newcastle? Oh, the Tower Cinema, which once was great. Yes, exactly. Nope, it's gone. Exactly. That's what I thought. Anyway, we dro- drove by there and was like, eh, let's go and see a movie, see if there's something going. Yep. It was an indie movie, so it wasn't playing at any of the big theatres. Yeah, Drive. Right. Have you heard of Drive? I have heard of Drive. Exactly. It kind of came, it went to those art housey theatres, like the townhouse, like the, what was it this, called? This the t- Tower Cinema. The Tower Cinema. That tower was cinema. a, before you go into it, that yeah. was a bigger movie than a, just an art house flick though, wasn't it? Not really, man. It right. didn't play at Glendale. didn't play at Katara. didn't play at Charlestown. Okay. Like, it was playing at those more niche ones. It didn't have a huge wide release. Right. For example, it had a, I think, $15 million budget and made 96 worldwide. Okay. So That's what I mean. Yeah. So it had more of that art house release. Drive, it's a fantastic fucking movie where Ryan Gosling plays a stunt driver in yep. movies, but his little side gig at night time is being a getaway driver for some, for robbers and stuff. Oh, yeah. No, no. So he, I like, believe he, you. Yeah, no. So he's a professional driver, like that's his day job. But then yeah, he just yeah. has a side gig where somebody will call him up this place at this time, and he just and, drives. Yeah, and basically he has a watch constantly, and as soon as it gets to a second past that time, he drives. Yeah, whether they're in the car or not, like that's just what he's been told. That's what he does. Yep. Anyway, he's fantastic at what he does, but during his getaway driving, he gets tangled up with the wrong person, meets a girl he wants to try and protect, kind of thing. Blah blah blah. And that. There's some pretty hardcore violence in this movie. Is there? Yeah, oh, but there's a hell, there's a hell of a lot of like car scenes, but they seem gritty and real, like yeah. as opposed to like a Fast and the Furious. Like they don't seem like you know two guys racing through everything, dodging all the traffic and stuff yeah. like that. Like they're more it's, gritty. And, it's grounded, yeah, exactly. And it, it, it's just it, it's directed by Nicholas Wi- Winding Ref. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Nick. <laughs> it's directed by a director. Nicholas Winding Ref. And he directs and things. It's, it, 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 yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Stop shitting on me. Anyway, uh, Ryan Gosling, as well as himself, obviously this this Kerry Mulligan. Ryan Gosling, as well as himself. All right. Okay, cool. So, like, <laughs> do you just want to do my recommendation for me? Because you're just having as much a good time. I'm having a good time, man. All right. This is a fantastic movie. There's Kerry Mulligan in it as well, and Brian Cranston. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. Brian Cranston is fantastic as he always is. Yeah. Albert Brooks as well, who was the voice of Marlon in Finding Nemo. Very. See. Exactly. He's the kind of guy where exactly. you hear his voice and you go, oh, that's Marlon. Exactly. He's been but in a lot of movies. That's hey? what I mean. And I never remember his face until I see it. And then I'm like, oh, Marlon. The fish. Right. Yeah. And that, that's just the one that, yeah, everyone goes to. But Ron Perlman as well. I forgot about that. Sorry. Ron Perlman. Yes. I love Ron Perlman. Exactly. 
But anyway, Drive, Ryan Gosling. I'm not sure if it's on any streaming services. I didn't dig that deep into it. No, but know. truly, if you can get a hand on it, I've got a Blu-ray copy at home. I love this So film. contact Mitch if you want to rent it. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Well, two ninety nine a night. <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah. Yeah, but no, Drive, Ryan Gosling, 2011 r-rated yeah it's brutally violent in its violent spots but yep. it's a great story great action very artsy films it's fucking wonderful if you haven't seen it already yes. have you seen nightcrawler with jake gyllenhaal no no i haven't. i'm pretty sure that's yeah. on streaming services or it was yeah um this isn't my recommendation but if you like those sort of lower budget art housey films which are more grounded in reality and also have that level of violence that actually brings me to a side sorry so nightcrawler yep. you'd recommend it in that same sense i recommend it to you oh okay yeah right, cool. i well, highly i, I, will, it, yeah. I will definitely look that up but in that same sense i found a movie on netflix that i watched purposely for this segment <laughs> and it just didn't hit the bar of Yes, it's worth recommending, but I want to bring it up anyway because I yeah. want to tell you the story and then tell you the cast and then you tell me whether you'd watch it. And I probably would, you know, and then be like, have the same reaction, but go for it. What, exactly. Yeah. In, a desert utop- in a desert dystopia, a young woman is kidnapped by cannibals. And just to give you a, a bit more of a broad explanation than that, yep. in a futuristic part of America, Texas, half of it is boarded off and it just becomes its own... You're not a part of America. It's just where they throw the bad ones. Oh. Exactly. So there's colonies and stuff. There's a cannibal colony. A young woman gets thrown in there, captured by the cannibals. Literally, not a spoiler, in the first five minutes, gets her arm and her leg cut off. Fuck. And then she finds um, uh, Comfort, which is the town that is protected by guns and stuff where they want to live as a normal society. Now, so that's that's the plot, right? And then she's just trying to constantly escape the cannibals. Like... Anyway, I'm going to read you the cast right now, and you tell me whether you would watch the and, exactly. And True Blood, yeah. Jason Momoa is the is the head of the cannibals. Yeah. Yep. Keanu Reeves is the dream. Yes. In what? In Comfort, he is the head of Comfort. Yep. You've also got Giovanni Risby. Yeah. 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 How fucking good does that sound? How did you say the age? 2016. Of this movie? So only recent. Mm-hmm. So this is what you it's get. It's a Netflix film, so it never oh, went to cinema. Okay, okay. So yeah. this is what you get when you have a great. So this is kind of like that movie I Am Mother I was talking about a few episodes back. To a degree, yeah. It's a mad concept. Yeah, but it's just not executed well. No, see, that's the thing. Like, as in, I, I watch this. It's ah, the violent parts are violent. Yeah. The 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 storytelling, the language, the concept, the the grittiness. It's it's all there. Yeah. It's well acted. Except Jason Momoa kind of sounds like he, he plays like ha- he's half Hispanic, so he's got a very, very oh, really? Hispanic voice. He's the go- he's kind of but, like Schwarzenegger oh, in the way that like- I also almost forgot Jim fucking Kerry. What? Yeah, Jim. Is this what? Okay, so tell me the name of this movie for one. The Bad Batch. The Bad Batch. Netflix? Yeah, and I look. I looked it up and saw that cast and yeah. went, "Oh wow!" Looked at the plot and went, "Oh wow!" Yeah. and then I watched it. And it was a little too artsy. Okay. Like, I, I I feel like the director who wrote it, Anne Lily Amapour. Yeah. I, I think mean. she's, and I, I don't mean this in any disrespectful term, I think she's like a feminist, a veganist, you know, one of those hipster new people. SJWs, and, I think they call them. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, and the movie, the concept, the cast, everything was doing so well, but then there's extended scenes, like for one, when she gets high... And it was just too drug infused for like ten minutes, and it was just Bit weird, trippy. Yeah. Like it got a little too artsy for its own good. Right, the concept and cast and that, and then the ending was a little bit flat, where it's like, eh, yeah. you know. So I, w- I won't recommend it, but the Bad Batch. I'm so keen to watch this movie, I mean. man. Like that's, you've that, co- that's you've that's convinced I mean. me. I, I literally I'm, watched this last night, I'm and I was like, going to let myself down. No, that's yeah. no, 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 yeah. that's fine because. It, it it has had stellar reviews, but the overall consensus from the general audience was bleh. Okay. Yeah, yeah. so the art housey people, I think, loved it, yeah, but of then course the general did. audience was like, well, bleh. That's probably who it was made for. It definitely it's was. It's like Oscar bait movies. Absolutely. They're, they're written and directed yeah. and, and filmed in a yeah. certain way to a please... A place to please a certain audience, like any movie. Exactly. But the concept and the cast reaches to a broader, uh, yeah. a wider audience, yeah. but... The execution is yeah. for these people. But yeah, no, this this, this movie, it, it had me like hooked in. 
and probably for the first like 20 30 minutes and then it had those artsy scenes like where it was just a bit too much a bit Fuck pandering off. yeah get a on bit with too it. pandering a bit too hipsterish and then it just kind of dragged a little bit yeah but yeah a cast like that a concept like that i was like the bad batch Fuck yeah if you've got netflix go and watch it but at the same time, just be prepared. It's not my true recommendation. It's so, Drive 2011, Ryan Gosling. So would you say that after that, you were still quite thirsty? or? Oh, definitely. Yeah. After that, I was like, shit. Now I need to think about a movie that I like. I, I want to recommend. <laughs> I tell myself this all the time about yeah. this podcast that I think I'm going to go on and I'm going to watch some random fucking movie so I can recommend it. it yeah. But you've done exactly that. Exactly. And it doesn't quite work. We, no. have to, we have to talk about things we've seen, you know, no, and have a deep love for in no, a certain that, way. Exactly, you know? so. that's right. And this, this was one of the first times I've gone, you know what, that looks like it's going to be a recommendation. I'm going to watch this. No. And no, it just didn't hit the same thing. So watch The Bad Batch if you're curious about what I told you, but otherwise Drive, 2011, Ryan Gosling, Stella Film, Brian Cranston, Ron Perlman. It's fucking awesome. Drive. Yeah. Cool. Dylan, what's making you thirsty and speaking of hard dicks? My my hard dick thirsty recommendation. Whoa, this, whoa. My thirsty hard gonna, dick for this recommendation. I want you to sound clip you going hard dick thirsty. <laughs> so Thirsty for Hard Dicks is a movie that came out in 2009. It's a mystery yes. thriller. A little bit okay. of backstory about why this is a recommendation. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I've only watched this movie once. And the reason being, I haven't seen it pop up. Uh, in any other str- or in any streaming services for that yes. matter, and I haven't walked past it at a like a video shop like JB video really shop, a Blu-ray shop like JB Hi-Fi or yeah. Sanity or any of those kind of places. Okay, it's a movie called Exam. 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 I'm not following. So came out in 2009, mystery thriller. So this is the consensus on your beloved IMDb. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Eight candidates for a highly desirable corporate job are locked together in an exam room given a final test with just one question. It seems simple yet confusing that soon tensions begin to unravel. Now, okay. my memory of this movie yeah. is that you've got all these corporate assholes and they're all going for this one particular job. Of course. The the answer mm-hmm. is in front of them the entire time. Oh. But throughout the entire movie, shit just gets real, you know, and... Ooh. From memory, I think I watched this in 2009, so it's been that long. It's it's yeah. rated 6.9 out of 10 on IMDb. So That's not too bad. Uh, horror? Uh, mystery thriller. I wouldn't consider it a horror. Okay, so there's obviously some blood, but it's not just in your face. It's, yeah, so it's, yeah. It's, it's not, from memory, it's not overly violent, and yeah. I can't remember if people actually get killed or whether it's just part of the exam. Okay. But... Yep. In the end, I remember not to. It's not going to give away too many spoilers because this isn't a massive movie. Obviously, oh, someone yeah. gets the fucking job. Yeah. yeah, but all these other people, like it's it's. There's a lot. Oh, I, if you can track it down, yeah, and you're not doing anything else, yeah, I certainly highly recommend just sitting down and give this one a go. Okay. Now the budget was six hundred million. That so, is incorrect. There is no... No, fuck. sorry. Six, yeah. 600,000, sorry. Thank you. So I'm six... like, what the fuck? Cut? The <laughs> most expensive movie, <laughs> movie ever. ever. Yeah, so, sorry. Yeah. $600,000. Okay. Um, yeah, so it, well, it, it's an indie film. It's an indie film. Yeah, yeah. that's correct. Yeah. Um, so that's... I'm just wow, gonna... I can't even find it in my fetch store. Yeah, so it's really underdog, yeah. man. So it's budget. It doesn't even have a, a box office here. It's just the budget. Okay. Uh, United Kingdom... Um, Came out in 2009. Now, yeah. I'm going to read out the cast list, and you probably won't recognize any of these names. No, I imagine not. So, starring Adar Beck, yep. Gemma Chan, yep. Natalie Cox, Ooh. John Lloyd. We were speaking of hard cocks, weren't we? Hard cocks, <laughs> yep. <laughs> all of these names, I'm yeah. reading them out now, they all look you know, foreign in some way or not. No, that's But I right. remember this being com- like completely in English, completely understandable, so it's not like a... You yeah. Know, you, can't, you don't have to watch it with, with subtitles. No, 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 no. Um, but yeah, so the, the 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 general census is that they're mm. all going for this particular job. They're in a room, and mm. shit just goes fucking south real quick because they're trying to find out answers to this fucking question. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. They didn't even know what the question is. That's the yeah. thing. They have to figure it out for themselves. Uh, um, that sounds fucked. Yeah. So it's every child who's like going through school's worst fucking nightmare. Of course. Um, and Except anybody, adults. Anybody, yeah, anybody who's done an exam knows what that fucking feels like. But when, oh uh, yeah. You, it, so the characters all feel like their lives are on the line, hmm. you know. So, well, they are 
in the end, aren't they? Or are they? Or are they? Mm. Do, do, do. Oh, plot twist. Do, do, do. Plot twist. So, yeah, yeah, I don't really have much else to say about it because anything else I say, I think I'm going to spoil the, the plot beats to it. Yeah, no, And I haven't right. seen it in a long time to say, well, this is what happens and this is what happens and this is what happens. The way you described it reminds me of, um, do you remember the M. Night Shyamalan produced Devil? Yes. From 2010? Oh, yep. It's the ones where they're all stuck in the elevator. It's but much the... better than that fucking movie. <laughs> no, I know, right? That movie sucks, but so I get your point. That, that, that's the first M. Night Shyamalan twist movie where I, within five minutes I was like, it's the redhead lady. Yeah. Like, I was just like, no, nah, fuck that. This Old mate her. drops his toast in the... I was about to say Vegemite. It's not Vegemite. The peanut yeah. butter or whatever like lands yeah. on the ground. It's like, oh, bad things are happening. Oh, yeah. yeah. I know, exactly. Yeah. Fuck but off. Anyway, but anyway, sorry. It just reminds me of that where there's like six people stuck in a small space and they're like, we need to figure this out. Yeah. yeah. So the, the, there is that element of working together, but who's not working together? Who's the underdog? Who's yeah. playing under the radar? Who's you know going crazy? Is you know? there someone in on it already? Like That's yeah, right. Exactly. Yeah. So the, there's those mysteries. And it did was come there a out... dead body in the middle of the room? No, it's not Saw. <laughs> okay. All right. I just had to check. <laughs> it was originally uh, part of the Edinburgh Film Festival, and then part of Rain Dance. So this oh, is the damn. kind of so, movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. This is the kind of movie that it is. It is that sort of art house kind of lesser budgets yeah it's, maybe the, it's the kind film. of it's the kind of movie where it'll end up making a bit of a splash but you've got to get it to the festivals to get that splash yeah, yeah. like if okay, it just no, came, like, if it came out on a streaming service i mean i'm surprised while, it hasn't whilst i love my recommendation drive and whilst yours sounds awesome and i know you love it yep. i feel like this week's recommendations are shit because <laughs> nobody can access them <laughs> yeah I, I just checked all the streaming services drive doesn't exist yeah and exam, I, I clearly I don't think doesn't exist on there yeah. so i apologize for that so hey Go and watch The Bad Batch and then tell me why you hated it. <laughs> okay? <laughs> to find this movie, you have to search, Google search, exam, movie. Yeah. You know, oh, wow. It's... So you can't even type in exam. That's and right. It's like, hey, that's a it's movie. Like, it's like yeah. the movie Virus that we've talked about before. You yes, have to yes. search, type in Virus, movie. Jimmy Lee Curtis. You yeah. know? Like, <laughs> yes. And yeah. Donald Sutherland or whoever else. Is no, but so. I will I will say that does actually sound quite appealing and something right up my alley. Yeah. And unfortunately, it came out in 2009. I it would have been in the video store. I guarantee you, in like, because we used to get the magazines with what's coming out for the next three months by from from the fucking. Oh my like, god! So it was like no, a no. What we, was I we used to get a yes or pass, but in paperback form. Well, basically, we yeah. got a catalog of what each um. Uh, I don't know what you call a retailer, like uh, the people who produce the movies. Yeah, yeah. We used to get catalogs, and then our boss would sit there and go, "Yeah, two of those. Yeah, one of those. Uh, no, nah, no." Nah. Oh yeah, ten of those, like legit, really, and pre-order them. Yeah, right. Like so, this definitely, probably would have been in one of those catalogs. <laughs> I'm sure it was, and I'm know. so disappointed that I didn't see it and be like, "Hey, yeah, we need to do that." Yeah, no, I, yeah. I rate it, man. Just so I'll go- be on a podcast one day where the guy's like, "Hey, I love this movie," and I'm like, "Oh my god, I have that on X Rental." <laughs> oh my god, yeah. yeah. So, so if you can find it on the internet or movie. somewhere else, it's called Exam Brackets Movie. If you like mystery searching, right? thrillers, yeah about you know a group of people who How don't really know what's it? going on i it must have been downloaded it must have been on a usb stick somewhere yeah okay i, I can't remember how the, well, i watched it yeah, so that's wrong 2009 that. so this was the era of like limewire and oh fuck like limewire so, i used to download individual songs yeah on limewire that's how old so I name underscore something yep. underscore mp3 you know yeah. Yeah. yes exactly yeah like it was bad yeah yeah, yeah. You underscore can't underscore stop underscore the music underscore <laughs> the <lead> cast. Yeah. <laughs> no. <was> so bad. Um, <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Episode 15. Yeah. Wait. Is this 15? Yeah, it is. It is. Holy shit. Yeah. I think it's one of our longest making, as well. Is it? Yeah. Oh, no. We better wrap this up. Wait, what is it? Well, so oh, far, no. it's 142. Oh, fuck. Jesus. <laughs> this is the longest. So- oh, okay. Thank you for tuning in. We are available on Podbean, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and YouTube. Big Summer Block. Fuck you, Dylan. <laughs> we are available on Podbean, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and, and YouTube. YouTube. Big, Big Summer, summer Block. Remember, we're aiming for the thousand downloads very share, soon. Share, 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 share. Word of mouth, people. Word Get of it mouth. Around. Share our last episode. We you have can share Facebook. this one if you want, but uh, share the last one. No, share, 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 share the last seven <laughs> episode eight onwards but we have the facebook we have the twitter we have the youtube we have all of these and we have that other <laughs> podcast little site. notes or love notes i don't or whatever know it was called. but anyway his name is dylan along with his co-host Manenno p <laughs> <laughs> this has been two's company three's a podcast we love you appreciate it big things coming soon thanks Peace for tuning in cheers <laughs>
Do you reckon they're going to hear that crackling? I fucking hope not, man, because all I wants to know is, where's my fucking milk, bro? Just vision it, you cunt. <laughs> <laughs>